That is my bad. <clears throat> also, Chad, I need somebody to like, when it is 7.59 Eastern, I need somebody to like literally go like, Cat, it's 7.59 Eastern. Okay. Can, can, can all of you do that for me? You, you are my alarm clocks. Okay, so that that would be how you would do it if it were in fact 7:59 Eastern. But you are definitely too early. You'll spam the nipple emote. There's a nipple emote? I was unaware. Give me a minute here. I'm getting the tweet out for today. Okay, tweet is live. A favor, go give it some love. It's 826 Atlantic time. What does that even mean? Also, you're like a minute behind my clock. Well, an hour and a minute. I guess you're you're an hour ahead, but a minute behind wait, I don't know. You're some kind of time off. <laughs> You're asking us to yell at you like a group of monkeys. I mean, your your words, your your description, okay, not mine, yours. <laughs> okay, I think we are good to go. I got today's spicy sauce. Chat, how are you guys doing on your boxes? And are you almost done like I am? Here's today's artwork. Do yourself a favor, go give the artist some love. 182 boxes or so. Yeah, I'm 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 doing good. I I am doing very good. We can't all pop rainbows like you, Cad. Listen, chat. Y'all don't even understand. You don't even understand the technology that I work with. Okay? You guys think I'm a simple whale. It does not matter who out of all of these people that I pick because allow me to present to you the one press comp. <laughs> uh, the what? Yeah, here, look. Uh, uh, okay, there you go. That was that was tough, chat. This is really intense and and uh, an involved comp that I have to do. <laughs> oh, whale tactics, yes. <laughs> is that a Maxipendroma? That is a Maxipendroma. 
I, I tried hard, as hard as I could, to get rid of Koyami, but she is just way too efficient for this sort of thing. So it just, yeah, she she's absolutely doing some heavy lifting here. Um, you'll notice I'm not pressing any Gilgamesh skills. Uh, the downside is if I don't press another skill, that Gilgamesh can low roll here, but it's it's not like you'll see. It's not a bad low roll. It just means that uh, if I don't press another skill, I have to wait out a card attack, which, depending on my level of laziness, is perfectly fine. So, yeah, it just, it, it works, chat. <laughs> that's it. That, that, that's all I had to do. Just the singular skill. <laughs> yep, it works out perfectly fine. And like I said, it does not matter who I take. Uh, I was taking people's Koyamis on support, but I got tired of fishing for a, uh, a like, actual Koyami with a maxed out mana loading. I do have several people that have it, but, like, they don't always appear. They're drowned out by the Oberon. So I just said, like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to use mine. And I just didn't care at that point. And I've just, I've gone Zoomer ever since. I forgot to put mine up. Ah, it's it's all good. It, there's no huge huge skin off my back. PTSD activated. <laughs> FGO players always trying to play it uh, the least possible amount. I don't even know that it's the least possible amount so much as like I am just trying to be as lazy as I can while grinding this absurd amount. Right, chat. What? How many days do we have left? We we still have like seven days, eight or six days or something like that in the lotto. Like, I'm, I'm done. The only reason I'm not done is because we got an hour till Dragon's Dogma and I'll probably have to download it since there's no preload. That's like, that's it. That's the only reason I'm not done. I'm going to be done today. Period. Like, actually done with the lotto. Feels good, man. Do you have an hour? I, uh, <laughs> I don't know, like, my, my clock here is a little bit off. I think the freckles are moving a little bit. So, like, something. Dragon's Dogma? Yes, exactly. I actually do suffer, though, in this comp. I, I need you guys to understand that sometimes when I do this comp, I, I actually get, like, like stun-locked for a brief moment because I go, like, Wait, why don't I have any NPs available? And it's because, like, I'm so used to now not pressing buttons that the first thing that I do press is the attack button. And, like, if I haven't pressed Koyami's charge, I just go in and I'm like, huh? So it's like, it's definitely a whale problem. No farming bells on the third set? Listen, I have to farm bells anyways, so... Wait, more than 400 boxes, no auto farm is crazy? Yeah. Yeah, most most people don't do this amount. <laughs> I'm not saying it's like the most insane amount of people want a dick measure, but I am saying that I've been doing 500 boxes since the very first lottos of FGO, pretty much. Like, back then it wasn't 500, it was 375, which, since it used to take 800 per box equals about 500. So I've basically been doing the same amount across all my years of playing FGO. There's only been one lotto ever on NA that I didn't hit that amount. Just about to 120 boxes and I'm on track for over 200. Yeah, no, no, no. And again, don't feel like you guys have to be at my level. Um, if you guys are beyond me, even good, good for you, right? Like the whole reason I'm at this point is I am burnt out. I just want this done, right? So, like, I basically said, okay, I'm going to find the fastest, most efficient way through that I possibly can, and we're going to do it. I heard the Dragon's Dogma character creation is really good. It can take hours to make. Yes, I've already made my characters. Um, I do have a little bit of an issue, though. Uh, the character creator keeps crashing on me, and I did download the uh, the newest drivers as of today for the game, and it still crashed on me. So I'm a little bit concerned, but we'll see. Uh, Nadeko, thank you for the follow. Welcome. <clears throat> I have Regina Alter NP2. Should I roll for Morgan? Um, 
I mean, for damage purposes, no. If you want like the other intangibles that she brings, like being a good uh, a good challenge unit and someone that can work really well in the in the like invincible comp, then yeah, there's some things to consider there. But I'm also going to say that you are going to have uh, Proto Merlin coming around this year, and she'll kind of open up a lot more possibilities for doing arts variants of the invincible comp. You won't necessarily have to have Morgan as much, uh, but. Yeah, it, to me, it's up to you. I'm going to say you don't really have that much pressure if you have an Arjuna uh, NP2. Morgan's just got that 50% charge. She's got the uh, the ability to like work really well in a team comp for, for challenge content, and that's really it. I could, but I don't want to spend rainbow apples. That's perfectly fine. Uh, P6, thank you for the follow as well. I spent like three hours on the Ellie Chan quest. Yeah. I, again, I... I have not touched it, so I don't know. I, I did hear somebody else claim that it's it's bugged though. Um but uh well hold on before I before I touch that chat, let's uh go to JP. Let's do JP. Is it bugged? I, I don't know, right? So I, I've heard the claim. I have no idea what people are saying that it is bugged if it's bugged, and like why. Because to my knowledge it it like hasn't been bugged ever in the past, so that's kind of a weird thing if it suddenly is. But Yeah, Morgan's definitely a good unit. You won't regret rolling her, but you just you don't have to have her if you have a really good other AoE. These damage bonus doesn't activate. Ah, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, damn, it sounds like I made the right choice to not redo those CQs. Then, um, I did the the uh, the the Tesla coil quests. And I did the end quest for each one of them, but I did not do the, uh, uh, the whatchamacallit, the normal, like, CQs. Like, I basically just did everything that I needed to do in order to unlock the lores and grails. And that was it. Um, to me, as, as somebody that's played them both on NA and JP, as obviously this is, uh, you know, multiple times doing some of these CQs, it's just like... I'm good. I don't need it. I, I get a couple of tickets out of it, but like, again, my time, my sanity, all of that, I'm just going to give numerous excuses for why it's like, it's actually just okay for me to not have to do it. Uh, missing out on a ticket is not the end of the world for somebody that spends money on the game. Missing out on something like lores. I mean, you could argue it's still not the end of the world, but like, there's no other way to get more lores. Like, I can't just buy lores uh, in effect. So like at the end of the day, I have to go like, okay, well, I, I need all the lures that I can get. So I'm just going to go ahead and go and grab those uh, versus tickets where it's like, well, I could always just, just spend more money on the game if I had to. What about the five eggs from the Achilles CQ? Sounds nice, but uh, I can get five eggs normally as well. Tickets suck ass. No, I mean, tickets are still great. Like I don't, don't take this the wrong way. I'm not trying to say that these things are not important. They are. I'm trying to say that it's not the end of the world for me if I miss out on them because I just really don't feel like it. That's that's really all it is. Yeah, I mean, Nadeko, if you're only going to roll a singular token copy, she probably won't be as good as your Arjuna altar. So, uh... Like, if you were going to roll her at least to, like, NP2, like Arjuna Alter, there'd be much more of an argument there, but Arjuna would still win in the most cases for damage. So it would just be the other stuff that she brings. Kelly's quest was tough, ended up stalling it out. Yeah, there's a couple that are kind of nasty, and they just... Like, to me, that was the other issue with all these, is they just take forever. Like, if you try to do all the CQs in this event, it takes you hours. Um... Like, and to me, it's not something that you can really just sit down and do all in one day either. You could try when they're all available, but it would still take you the better part of that day to get everything done. And so it's like, I'm, I'm not really sure that that's a good strategy for how they chose to approach this event. I think that kind of shows over time due to some of the negative reactions that I've seen from people about this. I think the devs themselves kind of knew that like, they probably had really low engagement numbers on a lot of the stuff. So I think they kind of realized that they overstepped with this one. And it's why, like, after that point, they just kind of never did it again. 
remember using a longer strat back then and now I three turned it with my Hoku. The Taiga CQ, I think I two turned it with my Artoria back in the day. I think you just need some card luck. And like fishing for the card luck, it didn't even take me that long. I think it took me like two attempts. And like that was still faster than doing it the like normal way. <laughs> Which was really funny to me. And then I think I did it the next time around with Bunny instead of uh, OG Artoria, so. Like, that's kind of the problem is we've done these CQs so many times that it's like, I've already used two different meme comps to solve some of them. Like, I can do a third. It's just, I don't really get anything out of it. Six hours, especially when you fail to beat the CQ multiple times. Yeah, I, I really don't like the length of the design of some of the CQs where they're designed to be like a half hour CQ. And it's like, oh, you're in the 26th minute of the half hour CQ and you fail. And it's like, oh, bro, come on. Like, I, I, I'm someone that believes that games should value your time for the, for the most part, right? Like, to me, a lotto already doesn't do that. But then it's even more egregious when you're just throwing in a ton of these CQs on top of it. So I think the majority of people, when they look at a lotto, they look at it and they're like, okay, that's a farming opportunity. And they go in and they want to clear it. But uh, I think stacking other stuff on top of it is a little bit of an issue there. And I've said this before too, I have no problem with challenge content. If they wanted to give a, like, like a, its own event, like, like its own week or two where you, you could just complete all these CQs. I think people would have a field day with it. I think people would actually legitimately enjoy it. People would start like spreading comps around and being like, hey, look what I did. And that would actually be cool. So to me, it's like, it's almost like a marketing and scheduling issue. It's a, it's a logistics issue. They did not handle the scheduling of this properly to make people excited for it. I also don't have Merlin, so my front line was Waver, Kestery, and a Friends Morgan. Nice. They're a nice break from farming. There's just so many. Yeah. I like to me, probably the ideal situation is when they only have like a group of seven. Um, even when they started getting two groups of seven, especially because they they time lock them and so it's like you can't even access the second group right away. Like, I don't think that's good. I, I think that's a little bit too much. I think it puts a lot of pressure on people for their time. And again, if the game's gonna value your time it needs to value it to the extent that it allows you to step away from it. And I've said this before, this is an issue with like modern game design, that as we start to look back to old school games, games used to just sell you on, the, on their own original premise. So you would play them and you would have fun. And because you had fun, you would keep playing them. And if you stopped having fun, you wouldn't play them anymore. But nowadays with stuff like games as a service, with battle passes, with microtransactions, we're doing a lot of stuff to try and force the player to keep playing. We, we try to tether them at the hip and say, you must continue to play our game or you're going to miss out on all these things, which is kind of a failure of design on the devs part because it kind of is like admitting that they didn't make a good entertaining game in, in and of itself, that they have to employ such tactics to keep you playing. So to me, a game should first and foremost be fun. And it should stand on its own two feet, on its own premise. And if it is good, you will want to keep playing it, at least until you get tired of it. And usually games that are designed that way, they have a lot of staying power. Because even if you do get tired of it, you, you come back to them after a time. And you actually like remember them fondly and have good memories and such that you, like, you want to tell your friends about it, you want them to play it, and you want to go back and play it every now and then too. But when you flip over to the other side of the equation, you actually have a lot of burnout. You have a lot of like jaded players, people that go, okay, like, but I've got this sunk cost at this point so that like, I feel like I have to keep playing. Or if they, they do quit playing, then they go like, well, I lost what I lost and I can never get that back because of FOMO. So I'm just not going to go back and play ever again. So I, I think there's like, a huge problem with that philosophy that we see a lot of days nowadays in modern game modern day gaming how on earth are you getting 480 boxes without sand courts oh it's it's sand courts it's 100 sand courts <laughs> i i 
again, I spend the money on the game, right? I'm not sitting here advocating for don't spend money on FGO. Uh, I will say if you don't like how the game is working, then you should probably vote with your wallet and you should probably like tighten your purse strings. If you like what they're doing, then feel free to spend money on the game. Um, I still like the game. I, I don't like what the devs are doing, but I at least somewhat as a content creator feel this like obligation that it's kind of my job to, to do this sort of thing. Um, it's not my job. This is not a full-time job for me or anything like that. To a degree, I wish it were. I, I wish I could like make money off of this and actually like uh, make a career out of it. But I, I think if I'm going to do that, it's not going to be in, in a gotcha game at that point because like you're spending as much money as you make. Uh, and I think that's probably one of the biggest like misnomers and misconceptions that I see of a lot of gotcha game content creators. Because they think they're going to hit it big. They think they're going to make a ton of money. And I'm not going to say that they can't make some side pocket change and stuff like that. But you're not going to make enough to sustain your career. Not unless you get big and you progress beyond just gotcha games. To be fair, that philosophy sounds like a lot of old arcade games philosophy. Many of those games were made to waste your time and money. Yeah, 100%. And that is where a lot of it comes from. Like, gotcha, in, in a nutshell, if you think about it, right? Gotcha comes from gotcha pawn. Like, the old gotcha pawn machines, where you would insert a coin, and you would, like, you know, kind of like a gumball machine. You'd twist the little thing, and out would pop a capsule. And people would do it, but the capsules were random, and so they would try to get something that they wanted, but they might not get it. It was gambling, in a nutshell. And that is the entire premise of where gotcha games come from is those gotcha pawn machines that Japan has. So it is interesting. And I, I think that is 100% what they're trying to do with it. They're, they're trying to keep you in an ecosystem and an environment. And actually, this is a really interesting thing for any of you that have ever been to something like uh, Las Vegas. If you've ever been to any of the casinos, casinos in Vegas have a really interesting design. All of them are unique. None of, no two casinos are the same. But in almost all of them, if you walk into them, they have a particular design that if you start looking around, you'll notice a little bit more that they're designed to, like, keep you in the gambling area. That is to say, like, it's actually designed to kind of, like, twist and turn and, like, keep you focused on things and not, like, leaving. They, they actually try to keep you there, yeah, confused and stuck as much as possible. So they, they straight up make it very difficult to like navigate around just to kind of keep you there longer, hoping that, you know, as you're as you're maybe going like, man, I should I should get up. I should go. I should cash out. Oh, but wait, look, that machine right there that's in the way on uh, for me to go cash out is like, God, it's 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 like it's got the, the jackpot is available right now. Like I should I should just throw one more coin at it. Like, who knows? I might get the jackpot because it's the. That's the whole thing of what they do. So, free booze, though. Oh, yes. Free booze and hot women, usually, that bring it to you. <laughs> like, they 100% they know what they're doing, right? It's the same reason why, if you go to Vegas, a lot of the times, if you've been there before, they'll comp your suite and stuff like that. So, it's like, it's 100%. They know they're not making the money off of the room. They're not making the money off of, like, uh, basically, like you going out or like buying merch even really a lot of it is off of a couple of things it's off of shows it's off of food and it's off of gambling and they know that it's the entertainment and the and the food you don't notice how long you've been there yep yeah no windows to the outside uh so you can't see the weather you can't see the time of day that sort of stuff The first time at a casino, I won over $500. Nice. Oxygen pumped in as well. Yep. Makes you feel a little bit more euphoric when you win. Like it, It's really, you, you get that gambler's high. It, it really is interesting to see like how modern casinos operate. And then if you look at a gotcha game and you apply that logic to a gotcha game, you actually begin to notice that there's quite a bit of those same sorts of features right like they do things to keep you playing they do things to make you not think about how much you're spending they do things to basically make you want more and more and more and more 
and it's it's all by design and there's there's actual like like data and studies that they have done to figure out where these breakpoints are to figure out what they can get away with and i guarantee you every single one of those uh every single one of those gotcha games like knows at this point of course, into a local casino for a family get together, but it was a uh, five bucks starting value. If he spins, it went up to twenty, and I took it and ran. Oh, I'll I'll never forget sitting down at like uh, I think it was a blackjack table with like five hundred bucks, and like fifteen minutes later, I stood up with no money. Like I'll, I'll never forget like just how fast it went. It was like God damn. <laughs> like, so I I completely yeah <laughs> yeah. Blackjack moves fast, so it's one of those things where it's just like I it, I had a particularly bad streak of bad luck. Like even the uh, the dealer was basically giving me some advice. He's like, you know, again, like I would hit, I would stay there because he felt bad for me because I was losing so much, and he basically it like even even he was like, oh my god, like I can't believe it because like he had one of them where he was like. Yeah, you should definitely stay here because the odds of me having blackjack are really bad. He had blackjack. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck, man? So, it, there, there's just times where it's like, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But uh, I think that's probably another thing that a lot of people don't understand is that uh, in most of the casinos, the dealer is actually kind of on your side. Like, they are an employee of the house. They're not going to let you cheat or anything like that. But they like they low key want you to beat the house. They want you to win because if you win, if you win a lot of money, you're probably a generous tipper and you're going to give them a nice cut. So that's 100% why they want you to. They are working for tips. So it's it's 100% that they're like, "Oh yeah, they're going to actually try to give you good advice if they can." But it is a thing. It's like uh, I, I think that's that's sort of the issue is uh, with something like, you know, just gambling in, in an actual casino. It's so much more like, I guess, like aware to me of like, oh, man, this is my money going down the toilet. Gotcha games do a really good job of like having degrees of separation. But still, you know, it's your money. It, it's just like it doesn't feel nearly as direct as it does in an actual casino to me. I go to poker tables and I have to play against. Yeah. The house always wins somehow. It's because they, they play the averages. So it's like they know. Even, even if you win big, chat, even if you win big, it doesn't wreck the house because they're doing so much traffic that at the end of the day, you won big and, and like 20 other people lost big. So that's that's why the house always wins. I don't know how to make the money last. Yeah. It's Saint Courts. Exactly. No, that, that is a thing, right? It's, it's like all casinos don't let you play with your money anymore. You convert your money into a separate currency because that currency takes your brain off of the fact that it is your money that you're putting down. If you were to have to like bet a $20 bill or a $100 bill or something on the table... You would be like way more conscious of being like, fuck, that's a lot of money. Maybe I shouldn't do this. But because it's just a couple of chips, you're like, ah, I, I feel lucky. <laughs> you win big enough, you become free advertising for the casino. Yeah, that too, right? Like, because it makes the casino look good. It makes them look generous. It makes people go like, ooh, I want to go to that casino. That dude won big there. Maybe I'll win big. Which is stupid, but like. A cyber currency like St. Courts, for example. Yeah. You ever taken a statistics and probability class? You know how astronomically fucked you are? Oh, 100%. 100%. You get a big win. That's why they comp a shit ton of stuff. Uh, they can use you for advertising to draw on others. I mean, you don't even have to win. I, I, and I'm dead serious on this, Ahado. Do you, know, you want to know what they like more than big winners? Big losers. They fucking love you. The more you lose, the more likely you are to get shit comped. Straight up. Why? 
because you are just a money pit to them. Like, <laughs> they, they just are like, oh, sweet, yes, bring him in again. He is an unlucky, stupid motherfucker. Let's do it. <laughs> and hello, To. Have I finished the Elizabeth challenge quest? I have not, but chat was just telling me that uh, apparently it is bugged and the, uh, the damage she's not working, which is wild. Um, I think, ironically enough, when I've done the, the LE one before, I actually don't think I used the damage she, but maybe I did? I think that one is the one that you actually have to solo with Ellie, don't you, chat? Or can you actually put in additional people into the comp? Like, I know the whole gimmick is that you're supposed to do everything with Ellie. You don't have a choice. Okay, yeah. Where is Artoria? What do you mean, where is Artoria? I'm confused. Are you asking why there's no Artoria in my comp right now? Because this comp is a single button press comp and it is glorious. It it just, it go burr. Like, I can easily pay attention to chat and not really have to pay attention to this comp. It's great. Artoria Sensei in the art? Do, do you not see Artoria? In the art? <laughs> I had a cousin who had a super well-paying job. Uh, he'd go to the casino like once a month and lose like 10000 without blinking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I bet the casino loved him. I bet they fucking loved him. And then like the problem is, is then you get a night where you win big. And you're like, oh, buddy, I won like a hundred grand. I'm Mr. Moneybags. And the casino's like, yeah, come back again. Because you're going to lose the next 10 times and it's going to equal out at worst. Like, they know. They 100% know. Probably also loves Otani. So, I heard about that. Apparently, Otani's translator was, like, stealing money from him or something and gambling with it. That's wild. <laughs> You just won back all the money you lost. Yep. But then but then you and your insane hubris go, I've won a ton of money. I'm lucky. I figured it out. I can do it again. And the second you go back again, they won. They 100% won. I see double Artorias. Well, one's Artoria and the other is uh, Bismarck, I assume. Right, chat? I'm not super familiar with Azure Lane, but I believe that is who it is. Who's Otani? Uh, Shohei Otani. But yeah, he's a, a baseball player. And he's uh, pretty remarkable because he can do a lot of things at, at a professional level. Like, you know, when I played in, in, uh, in high school, like, I, I played so many different positions, it was easy. But doing it all at a high enough level to be successful in the pros, that is definitely remarkable. It's 7.59. Thank you, chat. Thank you for being my alarm. So, like, I just have to make sure I get the download started. Okay, we got a couple seconds here. So you're just going to see me do this a couple times as I want to hit it right when we get to, to eight. We got like eight seconds. And I've seen it before where games don't come available until like one or two minutes after. Which is really stupid. Okay, so it says it's eight on my end. And it's still not here. Cat knows a lot of positions. I do.
intern didn't press the button. No, this is usually a thing. If you're ever here right at launch, the game usually doesn't show up until like one or two minutes afterwards. Sometimes even up to like five. I'm hoping that's not the case. Let me know if one of you gets the button. Relaunch Steam? No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I ain't falling for that shit. The, the second I, I relaunch Steam, I will absolutely get screwed and get, like, locked out and behind other people. Updating stream for 10 minutes? Yeah, I, love I guess there's technically no harm in it. I'm just worried it's going to be like... Hey, what if we did a big old fucking update? Okay. I just want to see how long it's going to claim. Uh, is a plus eight ticket mod, including friend MLBC normal amount for 120 boxes. I couldn't tell you, to be honest, off the top of my head, Azrael. You'd have to do some math to figure it out. And Goliath might be my worst lotto ever. It, I think that's okay. Like, like, chat, realistically, for most of you, this should be a terrible lotto. Just due to the timing. Because it's only been three months since the last lotto. And we've had a shit ton of grindy events with, like, raids and stuff in between them. So, I, I don't think most people should have a lot. So this is claiming an hour and a half to, to download it all. That's not bad if that's the case. Probably means we beat several people in, but I'm not going to be surprised to see that number get worse over time. And the number is going down, so maybe it'll it'll actually like even out at whatever the actual amount is. But you can see my download rate is like not the, the freaking fastest. I don't know if that's on my end or if that's like Steam, but... It'd be what it'd be. 12 minutes on my end? Oh, I fucking wish. Like, I have fiber. It's supposed to be really good in my area, but it's just not. <laughs> Estimated time always lies. Well, that's because it's an estimate, right? <laughs> kind of class am I thinking for Dragon's Dogma? Um, I was thinking about, like, trying to segue into, like, Warrior or something like that, or maybe even Warfare in the end, because I think that'll actually be really fun. Uh, but my pawn is going to be a, uh, a, a fighter, at least for now. I have fiber too. Yeah. Yeah. I just assume it's that my fiber service sucks donkey nuts. I probably like after tax season here, I probably just need to get on the horn and scream at my provider because my ISP has been getting worse and worse over time. And the price keeps getting more and more expensive over time. And there's a point where I'm just going to be like, look, this is the deal y'all cut me and you are not performing to that level. Like, I demand some sort of either better service or compensation. Got to get the gator, gator off the fiber, Cad. Listen, like, he's, he's gnawing on it a little bit. He's not getting into it too much, though. <laughs> he's just giving it a quick nibble. Steffi Jeeva Siege is done. Kul Tarath is up now. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know that I have time to do Kul Tarath really right now either. But thankfully, like I said, like, chat, I'm basically already done with the lotto. So we're not doing too bad. You're also using your bandwidth to stream? Uh, no. So bandwidth, like, streaming? Streaming has nothing to do with downloading. Streaming is uploading. So it's not going to use anything in that regard.
So it's just the the different direction, basically. Very little. Yeah, I mean, uh, the amount of downloading that I'm using is going to be shit like the the feedback, like where like I have my my stream on the side playing so I can see myself in real time. But like, it's not that big of a deal. It's no different than like watching any other stream while I'm waiting or like, you know, a YouTube video or, or like a Netflix show or something. ISP business model is to try and get away as much as you can uh, with the customer not noticing. Yeah, I fucking hate it. I, I basically do not like this stuff because it's not even that the customer doesn't notice. The customer always notices. It's just a case of like you reach a tipping point where the customer is finally like, fine, I will scream at you. Because if any of you guys have ever had to call uh, customer service at an ISP, you know it is like one of the worst experiences ever. These people are obtuse, they are stupid, or they are just giving you the runaround. It is one of those things always. You should have one gigabyte up and down minimum. Yeah, and that's that's like what's wild. Uh, I could go do a speed test. Actually, double check here. It's not going to be the best because I'm actually downloading something at the moment, but. Yeah, it is. It is not the greatest right now. Return the Achilles CQ. That was easy. Yep. I may go back in and do some of the like easy to like uh min turn type ones, but I'm not gonna touch the rest. Yeah, my upload is just absolutely trouncing my download right now. Granted, at this point I could probably use a new router and someone's gonna scream at me, but I'm also like, yeah, but the router still works and I haven't had any issues with it. So to me, it's always wild to hear like, oh, it just your your technology just just randomly degrades over time without you like having any problem with it. Too many people streaming basketball, maybe. Hello, CZ, how's it going? Chat, I'm running out of uh, rainbow apples. I've basically used like a pack in this lotto. Are you on fiber optic? Yeah, fiber optic. Oh, that impact the ethernet connection though? I don't know, right? Like at this point, that's usually what ends up happening is you get, you call a, a person, they come out and they go like, oh, well, it's because your, your technology is old. And I'm like, is it? Because I feel like within a month or two of me getting the like fresh new speeds, the ISP just suddenly like made it worse. And I'm like, you can't tell me the technology degrades that fast. You conduct electricity, it'll degrade over time. <sighs> yeah, but I mean, it still just doesn't feel like that's the case, right? Like, you're not actually getting, like... <sighs> to me, if that's the case, like, then you need to replace the wiring, not the actual, like, modem or, or router or anything like that. Like, that just sounds weird to me. Most of the time, that is the case. Yeah. March Madness is just madness. Basketball especially. Professional is boring. I I vastly prefer, like, college basketball to, to NBA. 
but I mean, with with the state of the NCAA at this point and like paying athletes, I think I may be done caring at all about collegiate athletics too, because it's now just like the same problem as professional sports where everybody just wants their money and there's basically like no loyalty or team uh, like camaraderie or anything. And I feel like that is what basically made college so good to a large degree. Does your ISP have a monopoly in your area? Functionally, yes. Like they they don't have an absolute monopoly, but they're the only fiber in my area. So. Yeah, still an hour and 16 minutes chat. Feels oof, man. And you can see I am only getting 96. It's not a shit amount, but it's not great either. Transfer portal abuse, yeah. Led to four monopolies to incentivize development. Yep. I could wait. I'm not going anywhere. No, it's fine. I like, I had just wished that they had done preloading for this. I know people like are upset because like, you know, it, it takes a lot of time basically to decrypt the stuff a lot of the times, but like for someone like me or anyone that maybe doesn't have good internet speeds, the, the preloads absolutely necessary and saves us. So it's like, I don't understand why developers don't offer that shit. And from what I was reading when I looked it up earlier today, apparently they had alleged that everything would have uh, preloading at some point, but uh, I guess only consoles ended up with it, which is really weird. So I did get the new drivers, though. Thank you again, Prophet, for reminding me because I would have completely forgotten. Um, and hopefully the game runs good for me. But the problem that I have had is using the character creator tool. I have had it crash a couple times on me already. So like I'm... I'm very worried about this. Random question. Did you ever have a problem with the uh, student debt? No, I did not. So in Florida, uh, we are very lucky because we have a very robust lotto in the in the state. And the lotto uh, for a long period in time, I'm not sure how well it's done still now, but the lotto used to offer scholarships for students with good grades. So if you had good grades, they would pay full ride 100% of your college tuition if you went to a public university in the state. And I did. So I had full ride. I was very lucky in that regard. I really think that is one of the best programs the state has ever done. And even while I was in college... I was grandfathered in and they started making it so that I think it was only like they would only pay 75% instead of all. So <laughs> I definitely got while the getting was good and ended up uh, in like a good way because of that. Um, at this point, though, I probably would have had any sort of student debt or loans paid off. I just would have been a lot poorer up until now. Only gave like 5000 a semester. Yeah. Something similar. Yeah, I, I've heard that other states do have like similar programs. And it, it's like, to me, it's really good because it's at least taking a vice. It's taking gambling and using it to instead turn around and fund the future of the like the, the kids that are growing up in the state. And I think that's really good. I think it's also it helps incentivize kids to stay home and go to school in their state rather than like you know, just migrate off to like, like, you know, some other like big area or something like that. So I, I think it's a decent program for at least keeping talent and, uh, and intelligence in your state. But no, I was, I was very lucky in that sense. And hello, insane. I would assume even if you'd preload, people would crack the game before it even releases. Well, that's a, a huge problem with, like, uh, games in general right now. I, I heard apparently Horizon Zero uh, 
no, sorry, not Horizon Zero Dawn, Horizon Forbidden West. Like, it just came to PC either today or the day before or something like that. And apparently within, like, 12 minutes of it being up on Steam, it was cracked. Like, like... Those devs cannot win for losing. <laughs> but, uh... It is interesting, and I think that is why, like, so many of these services nowadays are trying to put, like, DRM and stuff on their games, is they're just, they're sick and tired of the piracy, they're sick and tired of all the cheating going on in the games, and I kind of get it, but also at the same time, again, I'm going to quote Gabe in here and say that piracy is usually a, a service issue, and it's because a lot of the time people are providing such a shit service or product that people feel the need to pirate it. So like one of the big reasons that I hear a lot of games get cracked nowadays isn't necessarily even for pirating. It's to get rid of the always online component of the game. So like, <laughs> there you go. If players don't like it and people are actually cracking the game to get around it, maybe you should have offered an alternative that wasn't always online. Because a big reason why a lot of these games want to be always online is to provide a constant stream of updates because they're doing a live service model or something like that. But it's also to low-key, like, collect your data and info, and people 100% know that and don't like it. Plus, there's just people out there that, again, they don't have good internet connection or whatever. So, like, giving them an alternative to not have to constantly tether to the server is a definite like better thing for them i just skip anything that has the nouveau yeah i mean at this point i feel like a lot of the like drm stuff just makes the games run worse so it's it's really sad it just circumvents it yeah oh whoops well i did that in backwards order this is gonna be spicy I may have to do more than one button press. Finally finished my second MLB Lotto Seed. Nice, Cal. Scuff, scuff, scuff. Well, hold on. Hold on, chat. Okay. Look at that. I still got it. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I got the one thing out of the Imperial Privilege I needed, which was the attack up. Let's go. <laughs> Did you see 30 to 40 people screaming outside the GDC? Um, I saw at least a picture of someone saying that it was like a bunch of developers that were protesting Gamergate 2, as they like to call it, which is all the sweet baby stuff. Um, I think that's stupid. I think I think if you're a developer and you're protest, protesting that, you are the problem, and you 100% are the developer that whenever a gamer complains about a video game and blames the developer, you're that developer, like straight up. You're you're the one that is not on the player's side and are just causing games to be worse overall. So like you're you're more activist than actually like just producing a good fun product they were also protesting about the layoffs yeah that if that was the case i didn't hear about that so like i do agree i think some of the layoffs have been atrocious especially when they're reporting record-breaking profits i think that's really stupid i don't like that um i understand there's a lot more that meets the eye in some of these things so this is me using uh gill's charisma here but um I don't, I don't think it's, I, I still think like, like people say like, oh, well, people don't understand a lot of it has to do with like the, the, uh, the studios and their debt and stuff like that. I'm like, I don't fucking care. I, like, because inevitably the problem at this point is, you know, again, it's the meme of, oh, won't someone think of the poor shareholders? Like everybody is always concerned with the performance of the company and the earnings per share. The company cannot have a bad quarter because if the company dares have a bad quarter people will panic who cares i think the company should take a bad quarter to not have to fire a quarter of its staff like 
if the staff is truly redundant and doesn't need to be there, sure, fire them. They should not have probably been hired in the first place, though. So that's you fucking up. But if at that point it's necessary, go for it. But I think in a lot of this, it's it's usually just the company is trying to skeleton crew this bullshit. They're trying to like basically get rid of people that are in their eyes overpaid because again, they're not going to fire anyone in the corporate office. They're not going to fire uh hold on chat. Let me let me go ahead and uh and buy lay pack. But they're going to um they're going to damn well make sure that their job is secure. But they're going to absolutely can uh, all the people that are actually making the product. So I, I think that's really stupid. I think a lot of these layoffs, if they're looking for someone to lay off, should start probably in the in the bloated, like, like corporate side of things that's doing probably, like, way too much on, like, merchandising or marketing or social outreach or something like that. Because that's usually the case. It, there's usually just way more extra bodies that don't need to be there, as opposed to the actual developers where, oh man, why did the game come out and it's totally untested and buggy as shit? It's probably because you laid off your entire QA staff. Like, you're saying they might be top heavy? I think a lot of them are. Or basically, the producer got greedy. QA is always first to go. Yep. And that's kind of the problem. It's like, should you fire QA? Maybe sometimes, but it shouldn't always be the first thing to go. It shouldn't be like, hey, who do we need to fire? Well, let's start with QA. That's a problem because that means that QA is always understaffed. Like, like always. Like the reason why Overwatch 2 PV is dead? I mean, the reason why Overwatch 2 PV is dead is because uh, they were bloated to begin with and couldn't make any decisions. Uh, I, I'm trying to remember what the, the thing is called. Ghost Fire, thank you for the follow. Uh, but there is a, like, metric that people talk about in, in, uh, in companies that it basically involves the premise of, of, like, hiring bloat that over time, like... If you're talking about like a sole proprietor, let's let's say it's like a web a website designer, right? Like a, a web designer, okay? If you're talking about a web designer who's an independent contractor that works on his own and you ask him to change the logo on the website, he will get that job done in like one hour. As opposed to, and, and this is kind of what the premise is talking about, the second you get to a bigger company... The bigger company now has a web designer to do that as well, but the web designer keeps taking longer and longer, and then now you have two web designers. And then they split the task in half, but then each of them keep taking longer and longer and sandbagging their job more, and now you have three web designers. And like it just keeps going on and on and on where you keep needing more bodies to do an ever-increasingly simple task. And it's really stupid, but it is something that I can see easily happening. That a lot of the times it has to do with management being disconnected from their actual like like workers and they go to the worker and go why isn't this done and the worker's not going to go because i'm a lazy fuck so the worker goes it's just too much i need help and the management never looks into it because they're also lazy fucks and so basically each one just goes like, okay, well, I guess we'll throw money at the problem. And they throw money at the problem and then they hire a new person that they never needed to hire. And then basically everyone keeps getting away with murder. So it is an interesting conundrum. And I do think it definitely happens, especially with a lot of bigger companies. And I think this 100% happens in the video gaming sphere of things where, yes, this happens with developers and, and the low men on the totem pole and them having their departments bloated. But I also think it happens on the corporate side of things and the decision makers and the marketers and all of that with their positions getting bloated. They bloat to account for turnover, maybe? Probably. Like, there's definite reasons to do so. It's probably better to have more people on hand than you need. But, you know, again, they get into a tight spot and the first thing they do is they start swinging axes. 
they start cutting people off, knowing full well that they instead need to actually carry that in order to produce the product well. So it seems really weird that suddenly when they get into uh, tighter times that they somehow can fire these people if they truly were, you know, needing all of those people in the first place. If that makes any sense. So I, I think the problem is, is basically that instead of staying at a healthy average right in the middle... They are either boom or bust, and they are always to one end of the spectrum, never at the average. They are either overhired or completely skeleton crew because they fired too many people. And they, they never get the, the in-between where it's like, hey, if you just sit at this number, you'll be good. Important skill to CEO to examine bloat. Yeah. Not an easy skill to master. No, because like you'll never like that's one of the hard things. And it's why there's there's stuff like that undercover boss show, because it's very difficult for a boss, especially a boss with a lot of power. Right. Like, so let's imagine that I'm your boss, chat, and I, I pay you your salary. Are you going to lie to me? And tell me everything that I want to hear? Or are you going to tell me the brutal, harsh, honest truth that may get you fired? Most people are going to lie in that situation. They don't want to lose their job. And it, like, maybe you hate your job and so you tell them the truth anyways. I'm sure to a degree, CEOs love people like that. But again, I think that's where a lot of that stuff happens. I think that's why it happens. I still got an hour on mine. Whatever one keeps my job. Exactly. And so that's kind of the problem is like it can be difficult for a boss to get to the root of a problem because they won't get good authentic feedback from their employees. And so the dev of Helldivers 2 is a breath of fresh air. Yeah, I mean, like, and, and what was it? Uh, so you talked about the bloated hiring. I'm not even talking about that. Where he really struck me as being smart was... Basically, somebody went in on him when like like day one or day two of the launch of the game when the servers were shitting the bed. And they were like, what the fuck are you doing? Get off Twitter. Why are you still on Twitter? And he's like, yes, because I should go stand behind my engineers and hover behind them constantly breathing down their neck so that they can't get their job done. Thinking, oh shit, my boss is behind me. Like... He's 100% right. The, the more he breathes down their back, the worse they're going to be at producing. The worse they're going to be at fixing the servers and making the changes that they need to be. So it's like, you don't want to overmanage someone. You don't want to micromanage them to the point that they can't operate. Some people need the space to work good. So I completely get that. Honestly, if you believe you have to lie to leadership to keep your job, you work for a company with poor work culture. Yes and no. I mean, like, I, I can kind of agree with that, but I'm also going to say that, uh, remember, the boss is the boss. He's not your friend. And he shouldn't be to a degree. Like, like you, can, you can be friendly with the boss, but if all you view is, is the boss is your friend, you're not going to take him seriously on certain issues and you'll overstep and basically take too many liberties and then he won't get you to get the job done. And so I kind of get why bosses have to crack heads a little bit here and there in order to get the job done. So yes, they kind of got to put a little bit of fear into you. But again, it's there's a healthy like relationship to be had there. And a good boss will manage that appropriately as opposed to a bad boss who is either being way too friendly with his workers or the reverse being that, oh, hey, uh, you know, I all I do is fire people. Like, like, he's just shooting people down left and right, right? So, like, again, same thing with, like, the stance on how many employees you need to have. It's also you need to have a good balance by how you manage those employees. You need to make them feel appreciated, but not like they can get away with everything. Because again, it's kind of been shown over time that employees will just take whatever you can give them. Like, if you give them a free reign and, and a long leash, they will take everything you give them. 
if you give them a short leash, they will take everything you give them. So again, there's there's upsides and downsides to that. There's already a patch. Yeah, I heard they were already working on performance. But they were doing everything they could. So I'm not surprised there's a day one patch. And in fact, uh, day one patch is often a company games in general nowadays because you'll still have QA and um, and basically people that are trying to to finesse it a little bit more all right up until like launch. And they'll package everything up and ship it out the door right for the launch so that like, it's not the same to me as like, oh, well, you've got day one DLC. It's a day one patch to help the game's performance. So I'm, I'm a-okay with that always. Yeah. Day one patch, not bad. Day one DLC, bad. <laughs> I don't like day one DLC because it basically just means, well, that could have been in the game and you chose to make more money off of it. I did, uh, I did actually enjoy too, by the way, chat. I don't know how many of you, uh, watched the, um, the future game show that, that they did today. Uh, it was actually pretty hilarious getting to watch, uh, was it, uh, Ben Starr and, uh, and Carlax VA. Uh, both of them were the, the MCs of the, of the event. And it was actually like, I, I vastly preferred it to anything, uh, Jeff Keighley does with the, the like summer games and stuff like that. But um, they had a statement at the end where they were at least like they acknowledged all the layoffs and they, it was just like a message of support for developers. And I actually really liked that. And I thought it was 100% a dig at the, uh, at the, at the, the game awards because they never acknowledged the layoffs in the industry. Crunch isn't dead. Yeah. And I, I'm going to say this crunch will always be a thing in gaming because you have deadlines. So there will always be crunch. Chat, I work a job as an accountant. We have tax deadlines. We always have crunch. We will always have crunch. There is nothing that will stop that because crunch is inevitable to a degree. But the argument should be to lessen the crunch and its impact on the employee as much as possible, to make it as least stressful as possible to make it so that it takes up the least amount of hours as possible. Developers and studios should be doing everything they can to try and lessen the crunch, but you will never get rid of it. It will always be there. So that I, I, I find it really stupid and foolish and naive of people to think that like you can get rid of it because you can't. It's just the nature of the beast. Maybe they should ju uh, just make sure the game is finished and ready to ship to consumers. Yeah, I mean, so, and and here's the concept in gaming that I think a lot of people don't understand. Because like, okay, well, maybe you had to crunch to get a game out by the 15th. So why didn't you just instead release it on the 31st? Well, here's the problem. Even if you do this, you'll get rid of some of the crunch, but you won't get rid of all of it. And then guess what? Because you released on the 31st instead you'll still have the crunch and people will go, well, if we could release on the 31st, why can't we release on the 15th of the next month? And this will keep going. No matter how much time you give the developers, they will keep adding more and more stuff. They will keep taking all that you give them in typical employee fashion. And don't get me wrong. I think deadlines need to be a lot more fluid in the gaming industry. I think they should have the capability to push it back. And part of the problem with the super rigid deadlines is again, uh, corporate and them only caring about their earnings per quarter and basically, you know, trying to like make sure that they have a game out that quarter. And that's always what screws the, the games that come out. But on the flip side, well, that's bad. You also don't want the cyberpunk situation where it gets delayed like three times. Still to this day, chat, still to this day, there is no other game that I know of that has ever delayed after going gold. I have never seen it. That is one of the most asinine, stupid things I have ever seen because I want you guys to understand what going gold means. Going gold means your game is finalized. It has achieved print basically it used to mean especially when we were dealing with physical copies of games that 
you had the final build of the game and it was now getting put into CDs, getting produced and handed out to stores. It was starting to get shipped. So nowadays games going gold, it's still a thing, but it just usually means that they are done developing the game and that it doesn't mean that they're done doing all the quality assurance on the game because that's why you get a day one patch. They go right up until the end, try and get as much in as they possibly can. But it does mean they're done making changes to the launch product for the time being, like, like big developmental changes, okay? Still, usually that is a sign that, again, they are done making changes. So if you declare your game to be quote-unquote complete and done there should be no delay after that point. This means that either CDPR lied in saying that the game was gold or someone really fucked up and pulled the trigger when they shouldn't have. And it's probably the latter. It's probably like someone gave the okay because they had to due to the deadline. And then they were like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know about that boss that it was not ready. We, we got to have a little bit more time. Right. So like it, it just, again, I've never seen that in all my years of gaming. Chris, thank you for the 39. Hope you're doing good. And hello. 15 that released an incomplete game that had to have uh, four DLCs to finish the story. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to say there haven't been games that have released in a terrible state after going gold. I'm just saying that I've never seen a game declare it's gone gold and then delay. That's really weird to me. Huge difference in testing server load versus live server load. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, and I think that's something a lot of people don't understand. They could have 200 people on staff testing 24 seven for bugs. Chat, how much do you think that staff can find as opposed to 1 million players one minute after launch? Oh, the 1 million is gonna find more. Let me tell you, even in one minute, they're gonna find more bugs that you didn't fix. So like bugs are inevitable. It's why usually chat, you don't see me getting upset over bugs. I only get upset over a bug like that is potentially game bricking, game breaking. Okay. So like, oh, hey, the main quest is fucked. I cannot progress or, oh shit, my save is corrupted or the game is crashing over and over and over again. Those are game breaking bugs. The, the dude that looks like, like fucking Romulus there with the T-pose, like, like just, just hovering around or the, like, uh, the asset, the texture that didn't load in. I don't give a shit about it. it looks bad. It doesn't look good for the game, but like, it doesn't actually impact my ability to play. It's only if things impact my ability to play that I really care. I miss the uh, the 90s and early 2000s when games released much more complete. Yeah, I mean, I do too. And games weren't perfect back then. Um, they were definitely like hit or miss. But I, I, still, I still think that uh, at least back then, the concept of doing like expansion packs and like releasing a game that was feature complete really is like a foreign concept nowadays that needs to be brought back. Scarlet, thank you for the 39. Had numb to you too. I actually had really good dinner today. I had a, I had kebab from a, uh, a Mediterranean grill in my ears. Really good. Very few play the game as intended and do random stuff. Yeah. I, my, one of my favorite anecdotes is from the, uh, the, like the making of, uh, Oblivion video that Bethesda put out. And you, you guys can see the lead QA tester. He pulls all the developers to like the, the casting couch that they basically have that he uh, he sits on all day and tests the game. And like all his QA people come to him and give him stuff that he needs to look into. So he's just sitting there 24 seven on this couch uh, testing the game. And then he pulls all the other uh, dev leads to him and says, okay, I need you guys to see this. And they're in this like one part and he goes like, 
okay, so you guys are aware of this this location that I'm at. And they're all like, oh, yeah, yeah okay, I recognize this. And he's like, okay, so I'm going to go walking down the hallway of this dungeon now. And they're like, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, this is this is where, you know, you encounter this or that. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, and now I'm going to throw a fireball. And, like, all the other lead devs go like, no, what are you doing? Why would you do that? You can't do that. That'll break it. And he's like, because that's what the player will do. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to throw a fireball and I'm going to break it. Because you need to make sure that it works even if the player breaks. <laughs> I'm like, yep. So that, that is what Q&A is all about. It's basically being an insane player and just going in trying to spot as many bugs as you can that would break the game before launch. That's why you make your mouse a different color? I see. Maybe there will be an arcade resurgence and we can just start over. Um, I do think to a degree gaming is healing itself. Uh, I think that's like why you see everybody upset over like the sweet baby stuff. I think that's why you see uh, people pushing instead for like the, the design and culture that the indie studios are espousing. I think it's why you see uh, stories coming out of like even Bethesda in this case that I talked about yesterday where uh, they apparently have too many... Uh, too many developers working for them at this point and they have way too many departments that all have their own separate resources and needs and don't cooperate with each other so i, I think we're beginning to see that the the corporatizing of a lot of gaming is just not working that they need to dial it back and treat them more as studios as art as the creation of a, a work rather than a means to an end as, as a, a mechanism to gain money for, for the, the, the producer that's, that's managing to, to fund them. So I think that's kind of the problem that they have. And I think we're seeing more and more as that sort of concept is getting rejected slowly over time. Again, like, EA finally got rid of, uh, what is it, uh, John Riticello or whatever his name is. So, like, we, I, I think we're, we're slowly beginning to see as, as things will begin to heal. I, I think the big things that I'm still concerned with are, like, Microsoft basically attempting to form a monopoly at this point. Um, a lot of these, like, companies attempting to, like, battle Steam, which I think is stupid. Don't get me wrong, Steam, Steam may not be perfect forever, but I still think Steam is the best on the market at the current moment. And that essentially uh, there's still just way too much emphasis on microtransactions and uh, live service models and trying to like keep people playing your game rather than just making an actual good game that people enjoy and trusting in the product to make itself popular. Spiffing Brit, I love Spiffing Brit, he's great. <laughs> QA story of the card of death. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Just make another FIFA game. Yeah, exactly. Is there a Gilgamesh banner like right now? Um, that's a good question. I don't think there is. There might be one on JP with CBC, but probably not because he's limited. Did you get one soon? Okay. Oh, Gil banners tonight. There you go. At the reset. There you go. Chat got you. What box number am I shooting for? Actually, only 500. I, I only do 500 every lotto, and I say only, making that sound like it's a small number. I'm fully aware that 500 boxes is not a small number. Uh, speaking of which, chat, someone want to tell me how many I'm at right now? That's 290.870. And thank you to the anonymous gifter who gifted one to Ashral. I appreciate it. Spiff exploiting the market board. Yeah, and it's funny because he probably just, like, I think in a lot of cases, Spiff just takes a tactic that is well known in the community and he blows it up and, like, makes it way more, like, apparent to not only people that don't play the game, but also people that did play the game that maybe didn't know. So uh, I have heard, at least that in Spiffing Brit's case, a lot of the time he notifies the developers that, like, hey, this is a thing ahead of time, like, whenever he's going to release his video. But. I'm not sure whether or not the developers care in a lot of cases or they just go like, eh, our hands are tied. We can't do too much for this. 
Rianu Keeves is my spirit animal, though. I see. But have you beaten Skyrim using only a fork? <laughs> Spiff. Uh, the Spiffing Brit is a a YouTuber that he just goes around all the time trying to like exploit games, and it's pretty funny because uh, I still remember back when I uh, actually like first started like getting on Twitch and stuff and watching uh, all the way back. I think this is like 2014, so like 10 years ago. Uh, I used to watch a guy that streamed Europa Universalis uh, called DDR Jake. DDR Jake now works for Paradox Games instead because he broke their game so many times that they got tired of having to patch it every time he streamed. Because basically this man would go around and sell like ghost armadas and stuff to people and like basically uh, transform like like a remote Japanese island into like basically the Indian Empire and like it would it would be hilarious because he would keep doing a bunch of like crazy stuff that just the devs were like crap now we gotta fix this <laughs> it became the best QA then I guess yeah Chad please I have to actually finish Skyrim for once first well I've finished Skyrim many times but I've only ever finished the Civil War storyline once fuck that thing I hate that thing the war storyline's terrible. <laughs> Found it very odd for us that those that have played gotcha games and MMOs over the years with live service models being mocked, only for live service to become more mainstream and the use of battle passes, etc. Well, it's it's because at the end of the day, it's mocked because it's terrible. It's bad. Like I, I'm I'm gonna say this full stop, and if if you guys have been around the channel a long time, you 100 percent know what I mean. But this may be a shock to some of the newer people. Fuck gotcha games. They're terrible. I hate gotcha games. I only play FGO because it's fate. And I stick around because I like the gameplay of the game. Because I like the turn-based strategy aspect to it. But if this game weren't a gotcha game, I would be having so much more fun with it. Rather than, oh, it's a gotcha game. And that makes me go like, God, I hate it. I hate the gotcha aspects of it, right? So... The reason that I say this is because I, I really don't enjoy playing other gacha games, at least the times that I have tried. And the reason that, again, these, these mechanics became so pervasive in gaming, the reason that there are so many gacha games now, so many live service games, so many battle pass type games, is because it makes money. The players didn't want it, but a little bit, Regardless of what the players wanted, the developers realized they could get away with it because the players didn't have the willpower to say no. That's kind of the problem with it. As much as people mocked and ridiculed those systems, they became pervasive because people still went, ooh, shiny, or ooh, titty. 100%. Stormcloaks or Imperial Stormcloaks. Or watching a bunch of stuff, yeah. Vocal minority might complain about it, but they still put their wallets out. Well, it's like I said. Okay, so chat, how I, I you know, I, I'm actually gonna ask this question. Uh, I don't often pull this, and don't don't take this as like me like doom posting or anything like that. But uh, I, I I have a point for asking this. Just take this as a bit of a litmus. I'm going to give you guys two minutes because some of you may need to think about this for a little bit. Okay. So, Twitch chat. How satisfied are you with FGO currently? And the reason that I am asking you this is because I want to I wanna feel chat's temperature more to, like, make a statement for something that I was thinking about. JP or NA? Either. I'll, I'll, I'll literally say either. Like, whichever one you play. And if you play both, how you feel about them holistically. 
Actually, this year is when I finally gave up to play it and played FGO because I really wanted to read the story as I played it. Yeah. And I think like as a game, especially if you're playing it free to play, it's still a fun game, right? Like you don't have to spend the money on this game, despite what people would tell you about how scummy this game can be. Um, it definitely doesn't make it easy. It's it's definitely a, a, a trial, to say the least, to play this game free to play, but you can play it. And I, I say like, that is the fairness of gotcha games overall, is usually they can be played free to play. It's just that very few people actually like commit to it in the end. Uh, they either get burnt out because the game is very annoying to play free to play all the time, or they just break down and spend some money. Okay, so the poll is ending, and I'm not going to presume to know anything, but uh, 5 out of 10, yeah. I didn't want to do it on like a 10 scale. I just wanted to, to kind of ask like, uh, again, like emotionally, how do you guys feel about it at this point? Um, and the, the reason why, okay, is because at the end of the day, The majority of you are satisfied with FGO. The next highest is meh. At, at like 35% of you. So 35% of you are just feeling very middling about the game right now. Um, a very small number of you guys are unsatisfied or very unsatisfied. But do you want to know the most telling thing on this for me? While 50% of you are satisfied with FGO... None of you, not a single one of you voted that you were very satisfied with this game. None of you are overly ecstatic with how FGO is going at the moment. Some of you are, okay, hey, this is, this is still good. I still like it. Some of you are, eh, they could be doing better. And some of you are like, wow, yeah, they, they, they're, I'm not pleased with how they're going, okay? And at least the small amount of you are that way. Well, the reason I'm making this point and the reason that I'm saying this is because in spite of how you feel about the game, even if you think that the devs need to work more on this game, a bunch of you are probably still spending money on it. And that's exactly why those mechanics became pervasive. You didn't vote with your wallet. Like, some of you are free to play, and so I can't judge you in that regard, right? But if you're a whale, and you felt negatively or even meh about the game, and you're still spending money on it, you're basically condoning it. You're basically supporting them to keep doing what they're doing. That's why, like I said, the reason those mechanics became pervasive throughout all of gaming is because even though people don't like them at face value, it didn't stop people from spending money on it. Either they found clever ways to, to still get the money out of you, or you just decided that you didn't care because it was a product that you liked, right? Like maybe it was for an IP that you liked, like Fate. Maybe you thought the character that you had to spend money on was hot, or maybe you just really wanted to flex with that cool, awesome, shiny new gear. It doesn't really matter the reason. All that matters in the, in the like, the developer side on, on, on like the, the gaming studio side is that they just made money off of you. And so that was a success from their, their viewpoint, because unfortunately, and I'm not going to say like your, your run of the mill dev cares about this, but the producers, the higher ups, like the people that basically uh, are running all of this, they only care about the money. And so that's all they see as a metric is, is the game still making money? If yes, Keep doing what you're doing. If it's not enough, maybe we need to change things to make more money. That's how they view things. And it's only after they strike out repeatedly that they go like, shit, maybe we were wrong. Maybe we took the wrong approach. Maybe we shouldn't have done this. I literally just watched Asmongold going over the new uh, Diablo 4, like season 4 updates where they fixed the game apparently. Apparently Diablo 4 is getting a lot better now. It took them four fucking seasons to figure it out. They had to fail four times before they figured it out. 
And I gotta admit, I'm impressed. It only took four times. So that's definitely an interesting thing to say the least. And also when Diablo 4 stopped making money. Yeah, oh man, man. Hey guys, maybe we need to make some changes. Why? We're not making money. Oh shit, let's make some changes. They're not going to change unless they stop making money. <laughs> that's, that's always the way it is. So again, that's, that's why they, these, these things like battle passes and, uh, and microtransactions became so prevalent is because they were successful. And as long as they remain successful, they will keep being a thing. Took much longer for them to get rid of the auction house in D4 or in D3. Yeah. And I, I think the only reason is because they had D3 prior to D4 and they went like, man, we really don't want to go that route. We should probably save this game. Because remember, in their eyes, this is supposed to be their big live service game that they're going to carry on that's going to compete with Path of the Exile and stuff like that. So it's fucking sad that it took four times. Oh, I agree, right? Like, it, it, it's like, Chad, I want you to imagine that you get slapped and then you get slapped again and then you get slapped again and then you get slapped again. And on the fifth time, you finally raise your hand to block. You probably should have raised your hand to block on the first time, but even if you didn't, the second time would have been acceptable. Like, oh shit, you got slapped. Maybe, maybe you should block. For that next one that's coming in. <laughs> so that, that's how I equate it. It's like they, they literally got slapped four times. And then they went like, wait, I'm getting slapped. <laughs> Current Blizzard is a shell of its former self. I do find it really interesting that Diablo 4 came out with a huge like groundbreaking uh, revamp. And Overwatch 2 announced a bunch of changes for their shitty, scummy-like practices. And I have to admit, as, as much of a skeptic of, like, Microsoft as I am right now, that they may be, like, out for blood and trying to, like, get a monopoly on gaming. Shit, it at least seems like they're, someone behind the scenes is kicking Blizzard's ass into gear. So, hopefully that's good. Like, I, I think that is what they needed to do, is just actually focus on fixing the games that they already had because they're doing a shit job with so many of them. I just hope Fate continues to branch out with even bigger, higher quality products. Yeah, I really hope that Samurai Remnant actually like... And, and again, I, I can't tell you how many times I've seen people be like, too expensive, Cat. I'm not buying it even though it's 30% off right now during the Steam sale. I'm not buying it. Chat, if you want a bigger, better, more expensive product to come out after Samurai Remnant, guess what you need to do? Buy that shit. Again, you need to support the things that you want to support that you want to get better, and you need to not support the things that you don't want to support that need to go away. Period. That's just how it always works. Money. Liz is just getting in front of another scandal. I mean, we'll see, right? Time will tell on these sorts of things. I, I am cautiously optimistic, but like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you guys. Blizzard's been shitting the bed. So like, it, yes, they've done some good things here. Let's see how it pans out. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm saying. Samurai Remnant is totally worth it. It's great. I highly recommend it. Like, and I'm not going to say like that it's for everyone, nor am I going to say that you have to go out and buy it. But like, I definitely see a lot of excuses like for people that don't have it yet and claim that they want it. Like I, one of the things that I've come across uh, in all of my years of streaming that like I didn't have when I was younger or, or like even in college and playing with my friends is uh, basically, you know, in, within my group of friends, I, I never really had this. But now that I've been streaming and I've been exposed to a lot more people of a lot more diverse backgrounds, there are just so many more people that like, all the time will tell me like, Cad, I can't watch you play that game because I might get it. Or Cad, I really would love to play it, but like, I, I don't have the money right now. And then like, you ask me like, okay, so like, when do you think you'll get it? Like next Steam sale or something? And they're like, I don't know, maybe like a year from now. And then like, you check back with them after a year and they still haven't bought it. And they're still not going to buy it because they're never going to buy it. <laughs> 
And I don't know why, but that's just something that always irks me nowadays. Uh, not that people have to buy a game or anything like that. Not that people can't be broke. It, it is a thing. Just that, like, it's really weird to always see people, like, almost like, like window shopping and being like, oh, yeah, I can't wait to get that game in a year from now. But I'm not actually going to get that game. <laughs> Guilty as charged? Yeah. <laughs> broke gang? Uh-huh. <laughs> I know a few people like that. Yeah, it's like I completely understand if you don't have the money to get the game. I'm just always weirded out by the people that like, oh, I, I can't watch you play it or I, I can't like I can't get it myself because I'm going to get it in a year from now, but I'm not actually going to get it. It's like they're they're lying to themselves. And it's like, I understand, but that might be the sign that you need to like look internally and go like, Shit, I need to do something about this. Like, maybe you don't have a job. Maybe it's time to go find a job. Maybe your job isn't good enough. Maybe it's time to start looking at how you can, like, save some money. Or, again, like, maybe get a better job to actually get more money. I, I don't know, right? Like, I I'm not people's life consultant. I can't tell them. Just gaslight yourself. That's what it feels like. It feels like people walk around gaslighting themselves. It's like... Man, I can't wait till one day I'm a millionaire. Oh, man, that's going to be great. Like, it'll happen next year for sure. <laughs> it, it, it sounds to me like it's almost like the uh, the really weird, like, um, uh, like New Year's resolutions that people totally are not serious about. Like, this year, I'm going to lose 50 pounds. And they, like, never even diet or, or exercise once. <laughs> and then it's like... Sometimes the anticipation is better than the result. Yeah, I do agree with that. I, I think people get like rose-tinted glasses, right? But I draw it as long as possible for the pure joy of the hunt. Uh, once the computer is built, it's over. I guess that makes a lot of sense. Hey, you want to build a computer for me? <laughs> I've, uh, I've built several computers over the years, and that's why like, I'm tired of building computers. Every single time, part of it is that every single time I try to build a computer, it works in the end, but there's always some, like, problem with it. I never do it completely right the first time. And so, like, either, like, a part was, like, broken or, uh, and, and not, like, that I broke it, but, like, it literally came bad. Or, like, I didn't install something, uh, the correct way and then I ended up having to, like, like, go back through the entire process again. And it's, like, I, I don't know, I just... I just want it to be easy for once. Speaking of, didn't you say you wanted us to help you find a girlfriend? Yeah. No, I mean, like, that is actually on my to-do list. I, I need tax season to be done, but that is something that I am planning on, like, working on this year. I'm going to try getting back into dating. I'm going to try to be a normie again, chat. <laughs> Feels weird, man. Fan hub I never installed because I couldn't wait for it to arrive. Ah, oh, I see. They gained 20 pounds? Yeah. No, I mean, like, I get that one, okay? Because, like, that one is like you didn't have the time to exercise and you stress ate instead. Almost like me in the middle of tax season. The sad aspect is that it's a necessary evil to keep live service alive. Yeah, I, I think, like... I love live service and don't get me wrong, but uh, I do think there is a natural progression to things and when something should maybe like wrap it up and move on to a next iteration. Um, I, I think like I can see that almost to a degree with a lot of like really long running live service games at this point. Like like we could point this out for maybe something like FGO, but I could even say this about something like like maybe even like League of Legends or something like that. Like there comes a point where your game is too bloated and it might be a good idea to go like, you know what? Here's League of Legends 2. And like, reboot it, get it on a better engine without the spaghetti code and start it all over again. So are we all signing up to, to Tinder as CAD? No, I, I don't think that will help. I think that will make things worse. <laughs> I, I'm I'm deeply troubled that you would think that as a solution. All right, chat, 23 minutes. FGO2 going to go crazy? Yeah. 
Smite 2, baby. Yeah, I did hear that uh, that Smite 2 is coming out. And like, I think the only thing that's really interesting to me about that is that uh, didn't I hear that they're like upgrading the engine, but it's not really going to be that upgraded or something? Like, it's really odd to me to like, after after like years of, of being in development or after like years of having a successful product, you, you've got spaghetti code, you've got a like deprecated engine at this point, and you get the opportunity to make a sequel. And what do you do? You like don't make it the best you possibly can. Fate last order equals Florida? Wait, I'm confused. Like, cause, cause A does not equal O. If you're, if you're going by the abbreviation. Uh, Cad, do you think it's crazy when Riot doesn't know how to make an MMO in this day and age? No, 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 no. So like, I, I heard that apparently Riot delayed their MMO. I think that is the smartest fucking choice ever. Chad, do you want yet another shitty WoW clone? Or do you want like an actual good MMO? That is fun to play. That you can really sink your teeth into. Right? Like. They scrap the current iteration. Interesting. Are you streaming da Dragon's Dogma 2 still? Or delayed until bugs fixed? I am streaming, streaming Dragon's Dogma 2. When that download finishes. <laughs> Uh, that's the the problem is, is that my internet speed is not uh, great apparently. I mean, they closed the forge; they lost the people to make it. <laughs> Man, I've never had a girlfriend. Hey, that's fine. I I think, chat. This is this is some wild like life advice that I can give you as someone that has had a had a girlfriend before, multiple in fact. Um. Basically, all you have to do is try. I'm not even shitting you. You will get rejected. It happens. Dust yourself back off. Try again. And I'm not necessarily saying with the same girl chat. If a girl rejects you, don't be like that guy. Okay. But like some, some woman will play hard to get. But here's the thing. Most women nowadays, they're going to play hard to get. They're not going to outright reject you. They'll give you like a cheeky answer instead. It'll, it'll be like not now or something like that, right? Because that just means that they're playing hard to get. But uh, you definitely got to protect yourself and be, be careful. All, all I'm trying to say, though, is that like, I, I think so many guys miss out because they just don't try. They they never they never actually like put themselves out there and they never actually try to like uh socialize with women or get to know them. I've been that guy, yeah, don't do it. Yeah, it's 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 never like a good a good feeling. Since we were juniors in high school, good for you. And I hope it continues to work out for you. Women play games, you just have to learn them. <laughs> like, yes and no, right? Like, like, obviously you need to learn them, but it doesn't mean you have to put up with all of the shit. And, and that's the, the, the best thing that I can say. is like, you need to at least draw some, like, boundaries for yourself where you say, like, you know what? I do not, in fact, want to date or marry a woman like this. <laughs> if that makes any sense, right? Like, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is don't be a pushover. You definitely uh, do need to, like, be open-minded. But, like, God, like, if, if a woman is, like, abusive to you guys, don't put up with that. And vice versa, if you're a woman and a guy is abusive to you, obviously don't put up with that, like. Well, the whole point is there's got to be some level of like mutual respect and interest. Um, and if it's not there, then one side is probably getting grifted at that point. What if it's my kink? Then go for it. 
I just want you to know, sick, that my kink is kink shaming. So, like, if that's your kink, it's pretty stupid. <laughs> and you can't kink shame me because that's not appropriate. <laughs> Anti kink kink, yes. <laughs> As someone happily married uh, and dated around a couple pieces, I always had my best success when I just focused on being my best self first. Yeah, that's usually it, right? Like, uh, I think a lot of guys have, have self-esteem and confidence issues. And sometimes you just got to get over it and you got to go for it. But also, like, yeah, please understand, guys, if you have, like, poor hygiene or, like, oh, you just are, like, being really awkward, like, you do need some level of social awareness. If you feel like you don't have that, you need to take the time to actually like hang out and socialize. Chat, I'm going to extend a, a olive branch to you in that regard. Like if you want a place to be able to socialize and hang out to, to normalize yourself some, Discord's great for that. And I'm dead serious. Like you will not get any better at talking to a woman without talking to people in general. So like... If you want to get better at that, try to spend some time actually talking with people. You'll find it actually does help. Cass trying to talk us grass. Yes. Yeah, it's playing Download Simulator, not Dragon's Dog, but pretty much. Joke's on you, I'm into all the degrading. Well then, I think you're doing a fantastic job and you are a, a, a great person. I would never degrade you. <laughs> I've been single my entire life, and while I would uh, like a girlfriend or a wife, I don't even know where to start. Uh, plus, it's really hard. I'm not the best looking guy. Chat, I have a confession to make. I am also not the best looking guy. And I'm dead serious on this. Like, like, no one really is. Like, even guys like Brad Pitt have to, like, do a whole bunch of shit to make themselves look good. There are guys that are naturally good looking. Don't get me wrong. But I think you'd be surprised how far, like, a good personality goes. And I'm dead serious on that. Especially as you get older, where, again, like chat said earlier, it's like people don't necessarily want to play the games as they get older. It's the same thing. It's like people don't want to put up with like a bunch of childishness. So like if you just have a good personality, that can go a long way for people. It doesn't mean, chat, that if you're like a two that you're going to land a 10. And I'm also going to say you don't want to land a 10. Like a 10 in the looks department is probably an asshole personality wise. Remember the crazy hot matrix, right? Like it's that exact problem. Usually people that are obscenely good looking develop nasty personalities because of it. So at the end of the day, you're looking for someone that is a 10 for you. Specifically you, not a 10 based off of how other people view them. A 10 for you is somebody that's like just an absolute turn on for you because they get you. They have the same personality that you find attractive that sort of thing so what would you rate Ren? oh that's 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 bait that's bait uh-uh you can't make me say something that chat will hate me for uh dolphin is cute thank you for the follow looks attract everything else keeps a hundred percent chad stole my c drop yep it's my Riz. <laughs> no, like, like, and that's all I'm trying to say is like, if you feel like you're not the best looking guy, what do you think you can do about that? Like you, you can't, I'm not telling you to go get plastic surgery or something like that, but Hey, maybe like, think about like working out, giving yourself a better body, like give yourself an advantage to some degree, right? Or maybe like go out, get a good job and flex how much money you make. I'm not saying you have to, like, compensate by, like, buying all this stuff, but I mean, like, you can dress nice, you can, again, like, 
get in good shape, and you can present yourself very favorably to someone without necessarily having to be a 10 in the looks department. And it'll go a long way for people. Sounds like a lot of work. Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> now, again, if you find the right one, though, they're going to like you for you, regardless. What is your type, Cad? Oh, I'm a huge fan of big tit British blondes. Fucking love them. <laughs> I mean, like that, that's, that's obvious chat. I have a type. Okay. You ain't going anywhere without work. Yeah. This is the sad and unfortunate thing for guys. I think a lot of the times we're very much judged by our, our occupation. How oddly specific of a description. Mm -hmm. Could have fooled me. Yeah. I'm new on the game. Is it worth it to use all apples on this event? Uh, Dolphin, arguably, yes. Uh, lottos are like the best time to get bang for your buck, especially if you're new. Uh, getting more boxes out of the event because there is no cap during a normal lotto uh, is really, really good for you. So this is when everybody advises you to use your apples. And that still holds true even to this day. Nice Bond 9, Jason. Jet, you are looking at the last one star on my account that is not Bond 10. The very last one. Saber, yes, Lartree to be exact. I mean, hey, I, I would still I would still like Saber. Like, I and I say this like I meme about the tits. Chat, the majority of the women that I have dated in my life have been not the most robust in the chess department. If that makes any sense. Like, like the average of, of like cup size for women that I've dated is probably like B cup. So it is what it is. Like sometimes you just have to find someone that you get along with. Someone that you can tolerate. And when you have that synergy, that's when there's going to be a much more fulfilling relationship than anything in the looks department. Again, like, like Kimba said, the looks are what attracts you, but like, they're not going to be forever, chat. Looks go away as you age. So it's one of those things where you just need to find somebody that you can actually live with, that you can actually get along with, that will either share your interests or at least encourage them. <sighs> you need to hit some lottos quite a bit to build up anything concerning skill gems. Yeah, I, I can't emphasize it enough. Lottos are really good for a lot of reasons. <laughs> And again, uh, Dolphin, we actually have a guide if you need help. I'm not sure how good it'll be for you if you're brand spanking new, but uh, it should give you at least some ideas for like comps. And it will also tell you a lot about the lotto. And if you really need help, again, you can always ask me. You can always ask one of the mods, or you can also get on our Discord, and there are plenty of people that can help you in there. My wife tolerates me. Yeah, I, I think like... Again, I'm not going to say that, like, like you should have a loving relationship, but you're, like, your significant other chat does not have to go, like, oh, my God, I also love FGO. Like, like it doesn't have to be anything like that, right? Like, it can just be, like, oh, you like gotcha games. Well, that's interesting. That's it. It, it just, like, it needs to, your interests need to not be something that they can't get along with. If you're trying to date someone and your interests are completely incompatible, like they're intolerant towards it, you're not going to be able to get along with that person for very long. It'd be like the equivalent of being like, oh, I like rock music. I fucking hate rock music. Like you're not going to get along <laughs> at that point, right? Oh my God, I also hate capitalism. 
I could say a really judgmental thing about that right now. <laughs> the ship gonna sink fast, abandoned ship? Yeah. According to astrology, my husband and I should not be within 200 yards of each other. Yeah, but I mean, I, look, I don't put much stock in astrology. I think I think stuff like astrology is basically just like, like whack. Eight minutes, chat. Do you dislike material possessions? Yeah, like the 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 thing that I was gonna say is that basically, like everybody that always sits there and, and hates on capitalism are usually broke people that that have no job. Like, <laughs> so if you find someone else like that. You can hate capitalism together. Well, both of you are broke and have no income. <laughs> I swear women love astrology. Not all women, right? Like, I think I think a lot of women realize, like, yeah, it's just a thing, right? Like, like I think some women just like it because it's, like, cute or fun. I think other women, like, seriously believe it and, like, go super in-depth into it. I think that's a little bit more concerning where like people basically let their entire life be dictated by it. I don't understand those people like at all. Like, yeah, again, so like in Katana's case, imagine if she had listened to the astrology and just like never, never gone on a date with her husband. Damn, that would suck, right? <laughs> like, so it's it's one of those things where it's like yes you, you, if you need to listen to your own heart your own mind not not something that someone tells you in that regard for me that's a red flag yeah you are retrograding my mercury fuck off what does that even mean <laughs> I have comic books, anime, and computer gaming, as well as other games and even other, and I was able to get married. Yeah. And like, chat, again, maybe you find somebody like, so maybe she's into anime and you're also into anime and you love like shitty isekai harem shonen anime. And she likes none of that, but she does like shitty like shoujo magical girl something or other, right? Like... So it doesn't matter. You share a common interest, even if you just like different things within that interest. So it's like, as, and a, a little bit, you can still talk about things and have a good coherent conversation. Even if she doesn't watch the same things that you do, she's probably much more likely to be tolerable towards your interest than somebody that just goes, I don't like anime, right? And again, even still, someone could be like, I don't like anime, but if you like it, that's fine. Like, as long as they tolerate it, right? I want to marry a woman as pretty as Taylor Swift, but likes to watch me play FGO. Wait, hold on. You're not going to allow the woman to play FGO with you? <laughs> You, 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 you're going to make her sit there and watch? She doesn't get to have fun? <laughs> or, or or would that be too expensive? Would, would it be too expensive to also allow the wife to play a gotcha game with you? <laughs> she can help me farm? Well, then, yeah, but so if you're going to let her help you farm, surely she gets to choose, like, at least some of the units you roll on, right? <laughs> My fiance has no interest in anime or gaming, but we're working great. Yeah, again, like, it, they don't have to like the same things you do. They just have to tolerate it. You're not going to get along with anybody that can't tolerate your interest. If they can't tolerate it, you're incompatible. Because, chat, and I hate to say this, like, it's okay, I think, to adjust some to fit your significant other. You've got to, like, compromise and meet people in the middle. But you can't fundamentally change who you are to try and appease someone else. You will never be happy if that's the case, if you try to do that.
If you get a girlfriend that likes anime, you have to share her with husbandos? I... <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> Why do you make that sound like it's like prostitution? <laughs> They don't understand value. Yeah, my brother went through a situation like that, and I'm still surprised he kind of, like, put up with it. <laughs> I I'm not even going to address what was just said in chat. <laughs> Or in the age of AI soon, that would legit be possible in the near future. What? Like, like to have an AI waifu or husbando? I mean, like, you could. I think the... That, could you find an AI that, like, made you feel, like, special and wanted? Yes. Do I think it would be as fulfilling as having a real compatible relationship with another human being? No. I think no matter how good AI gets, it will not be able to do certain things. Marriage isn't an easy feat. Yeah. I think some people already do have AI waifus. Oh, I'm I'm aware that they do. I'm also aware that, like, uh, the guy that had the original AI waifu, uh, the company stopped supporting the product, and it uh, it stopped working. And his, his actual waifu dead. <laughs> can my AI waifu hack into banks to give me infinite money no because that would be illegal and even if she could do it then the problem would be then so could everyone else's so we would have a lot worse of a problem I'm legit happy where I'm at right now. And that's fine. I think... I'm not going to say, like, everybody has to go out and get married, right? But I do think that uh, it should probably be something that everyone should consider and think long and hard about, about what they want to do with their life and how they want to spend the rest of their time, right? Like, um, you decide how you want to. For me, I would love to get married and have a family. I just would. I think it. I think that's, like... Something that is a goal for me in life. Got the Greek Fortnite ad. What does that even mean? <laughs> is it in Greek? Or is it showcasing Greek stuff? It's really important to be comfortable with yourself. A partner is great, but won't fix your problems. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think... I think Assuming that a partner will fix your life for you is folly. You need to take action into your own hands and, like, better yourself. And chat, you can use your, your significant other as motivation to do so. But I think at the end of the day, that is, that is really what a lot of people should do. Ah! <laughs> Anime McDonald's ad? Yeah. Wait, chat. I did it. I over farmed. So we are now at 500. Oops, that happens. Can you farm for me now? Fuck no. Farm it yourself. Lazy scrub. <laughs> like I said, I got done with this as fast as I could so that I didn't have to keep farming. So I am done with the lotto. Uh, the only things that I still have left to do are I got to do uh, I got to do Giga Coil and I think I got to do the finale to one of those, but we'll do that like on another night. I heard you're planning on looking for a partner. That's awesome, my dude. I love my fiance, so I hope you can get someone. Uh, just don't think of what a girlfriend can offer you, but w you have to offer. You got this, bless you, bro. Thank you, Silver. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. 
I thought for a second there you were going to like offer me your fiance and I was just like, that's getting weird. <laughs> I'm glad that that was a much more wholesome message than I thought it was going to turn into. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't wait for the last 90 plus nodes since it has bells. Um, I actually don't need that many bells, and uh, bells are like the only thing I have to farm until 6.5 comes out. So, My time and schedule does not allow me to do that. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, like I said, I, I wanted it done. Chat, for the record, that means that basically... For the last three days, here are my box counts, okay? Just so that everyone is clear. Today, 105. It's actually like 108 now. But like yesterday and the day before, <laughs> three days ago, I was at 200 boxes. So <laughs> I said, fuck it, I'm getting this done. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna hit the gym and have a a chad cad phase i i definitely need to start working out more oh my god it's still verifying holy crap <laughs> man reverse collapse is apparently dropping in one hour on steam i legit can't wait to finally play the entirety of it wait what's what's reverse collapse i've never heard of that Oh, no. Curse you up there. Oh, it's Conan. Okay. I was like, I swear to God. <laughs> Grab a controller and kick back. Game needs a controller for its best experience. Okay. In the chat, I am going to like grab a shit ton of stuff and we going to close it down. Is I am going to make sure that my computer is is as good as can be for this. Ugh. I'm closing as many Chrome tabs as I can. I am shutting down Discord and poof goes the OBS. Okay, so. This computer is minimalized. I'm also surprised that I actually like timed that with finishing the lotto boxes as, as good as I did. Like, I did not think it would come that close. Ah, yes, compiling shaders. My favorite. And let me... Dad, I desperately need a haircut. I don't know if you guys can tell, but, like, my hair is, like, just becoming unkempt. Like, it it is, like, just getting awful on the signs. How many hours did it take me to do 500 boxes? Oh, that's a good question. I have no idea. <laughs> like, I know I was not as efficient as I could be. Um, there were it, it was like pulling teeth to actually like force myself to focus uh, some of the time during this week. So like those numbers of like doing 100 boxes a day, they're they're nice numbers. I could have done more. Like probably probably like 30% more than I did at least. Bla, da, 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 da. Rip Bozo, yes. Oh, and sorry, I didn't see you over there on the on the YouTube side of things, Dolphin. I just looked back at it now. We can tell. Uh, that happiness for me is peace and financial stability. My country is currently punishment for the child in the world. Wait, I'm not sure what you mean by that, Alexandra, but... Uh, I mean, 
I hope you find happiness in that regard, right? Like, add the Minecraft player. I mean, it feels like like my computer can't handle Minecraft at the moment. But usually the initial shader, uh, like, compilation takes a while. And hopefully they have, like, a, uh, God, what is it, a, a registry or whatever that, like, it remembers it every time you go in. Some games you have to completely compile it every single time, and I hate that. If you look closely, you can see the hentai folder on his desktop. Can you? Dude, like, like, do I actually have a folder that looks like something like that? Because, <laughs> like, most of it is all... Oh, Genshin Impact. Okay, I see what you're saying. <laughs> I'm actually surprised I... Like, you can tell it's not installed. Like, I'm surprised I still have a shortcut to that. Capcom does shader shit in a lot of uh, times. Yeah, I know like Monster Hunter was kind of like this as well. It would be busted by now since South Carolina lost and Kentucky's about to lose barring a miracle. Damn. I, I, sadly, I have not had the time to pay attention to March Madness this year, so I hope it's enjoyable for the rest of you. But like, for me... Eh. Oh, Overwatch! Okay, yeah. Overwatch, League of Legends. Yeah, 100%. 100%. No, I mean, like, I, I have nothing to hide on my desktop chat. <laughs> and I'm going to be real with you. Even if I, like, even if I had a folder or something like that sitting there on my desktop, I probably just would not care. <laughs> I would just be like, it is what it is. Like, yeah, have I touched the new season of League? No, I have not. I've not played League since last year. I did see all the changes that they've made so far. Uh, it looks interesting, but, like... I just haven't been in the mood to play it, and I've had so much other shit to play, so. Am I done farming? Yes. Yes. So, like, uh, I will still do the new nodes when they come out, at least the one time each, but, like, um, it's just, like, the, the token clear to get the, the apple. But I still... Chat, now the more difficult task happens, which is I have to actually figure out, like, how I'm going to spend all my QP. That, that is not easy. Cad's league sober. I mean, I do this from time to time. I, I just don't play games after a while. Because I, I play games that I feel like playing and want to play. The novel concept. <laughs> Which is why I also want to say that, like, if anyone ever doubts that I enjoy FGO, please understand, I continue to keep playing FGO, despite me picking up and dropping all these other games. So, it should be a testament to just how much I do love FGO. And when I say, like, I'm burnt out and stuff like that, I'm burnt out on grinding at the moment, because we've had a shit ton of grind events over the last six months. Uh, and then I've also had JP that I've had to handle on top of that. So it's, I, I am happy to be done. And it is actually like a load off in that regard. I still got the, the boxes to roll out. I've still got the CQs to do, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about that. Not with this many days remaining in the lotto. Marie has given me something to wait for. Yeah, I'm still on the fence. Like, should I roll for her chat? And that's, that's like, Part of me, I really like her design, but I absolutely don't need her because I have Kama, um, I have Ishtar, uh, so, and, well, and, and Ronmaru as the welfare. So it's like, I, I absolutely do not need her in the slightest. It is just a pure greed role at that point. <laughs> Oh, and yeah, I also have uh, Nito Altar as well, so. I want to know your opinion. I'm probably going to get uh, flamed by chat for this. Is Archetype Earth worth having at NP1? I'm on the fence for rolling for her. Uh, so I think it's going to be a skip, especially since I heard damage isn't that great at NP1. Um, I actually have her at NP2 on JP. Uh, I will say, like, do I think you could still use her at NP1 and is she worth having? Yes. Uh, NP2 will be a lot better. There, there's quite a bit of nodes that at just NP1, she's going to get, like, basically damage checked. Um, 
But if you have MP2, it'd just make it way easier. But even still at MP1, there's still going to be quite a bit as well that you can still use her for. So I don't think she's unusable or anything at, at the singular copy. It's just sort of the natural annoyance of dealing with a somewhat neutral damage dealing extra class. Um, and especially with how much charge she has, she's kind of kind of going to be dependent on that extra damage to, to really pop off. So. But no, you can absolutely use her at MP1. Do you transfer your account back and forth between your phone and the emulator client in your PC? Oh, uh, you're talking about this? So the only time that I have ever used like like any of this, and you can see, chat, it's all right next to it, uh, implying that I downloaded it all at the same time. Um, I did this for back when we were filming the new player guide because I actually needed to do some research and roll out some new accounts in order to be able to write certain portions of the guide. Otherwise, no, I, I don't play on emulator at all. Like whenever I'm playing with you guys, I am playing with you uh, via basically an HDMI cable plugged into my little dongle here into my phone. So you guys are playing off my phone, not an emulator. And that's also why sometimes my shit's jank. Apparently, I'm lucky the cooler lasted this long. Uh, cooler's not too hard to replace, as long as it's not like a liquid cooler or something like that. But yeah, I definitely haven't heard good things about iBuyPower. Are AAOs easy to replace? Oh, really? Yeah, I know air coolers are, but... So many shaders? It's the initial compilation, so I expect it to take a while. We could have kept playing, I guess, in that regard, but... Super easy now? Okay. Yeah, I know when they, like, first came out, they were not, but... But it is also a case of I don't think people actually really understood. Oh my god, chat, it said the words! The cap of the com. I also can't, like, adjust this until I go into it. So, like, normally this is stuff that I do before stream, but, like, because the game came out during stream, I couldn't, like, adjust all of this. Uh, Frances. Italiano. Dush. Yep. Uh, chat, this may seem different for you, but because I'm playing on a different screen... Like, it's 100% uh, I'm going to put it where I need to. Adjust until the picture in the center disappears. I can barely see the picture in the center anyways, so I'm just going to leave it right there in the middle. Enter my age. Hold on. Why do I need to tell them my age? I don't like that. <laughs> My age is 99. <laughs> decline. <laughs> I do like that nowadays they actually allow you to decline those. Because holy shit. It used to be you had to hit accept on everything. Or you would not be able to play the game. Uh, yes, I do want to enable network features. 99 year old gamer, yep. Dodo Gama! Okay, chat. Graphics, Dear God, what is that? Oh no. Yeah, you guys can see, like, my graphics memory is gonna be a problem on this. What? Okay, yeah, let's keep that. Oh, 
Oh, thank you, borderless window. Okay. Gonna turn V Sync off. Hold on, why is performance and ultra performance is less graphical memory? I'm so confused. You know, I'll leave VSync on as long as I'm not capped out there. Okay, ray tracing is staying off. Oh, but ray tracing looks so good! Leave the texture quality right there. Okay, yeah, I'll turn the shadow quality down because I don't give a fuck about shadow quality. So if that gets me back into the orange, that's fine. Motion blur, turn the fuck off. Okay. Ah. Oh. Wait, chat. How do we how do we upload our character? Song request. Yes, I will turn the song request off. Wait, did I leave this in French? Oh, okay. Conviction is the human will that reaches its greatest power. I was like, hold on. <laughs> Sudden French, yes. Joe, <laughs> chat, we got that flute and dude. <laughs> On a guess, lend me your ears. Long as our Fevremon suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. Also, Chad, I'm sorry. The return of the sovereign. Uh -huh. Oops. Yo, some pointy shoes I got. My word. Such an inspiring visage. Your majesty shall have my eternal yeah, fealty. Your no majesty. How long I have waited this moment. Must be a face for radio, yeah. the rightful inheritor of the dragon throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. 
Behold and rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our Savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the Sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our legions reign when they are end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, I thought I had a bug right there for a if second. If thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy knife both. Okay. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Okay, that means jail. This is like Dark Souls, are we gonna start out in a jail? Oh yo, Pimp Cane. Are you a boy? Now, or a girl? which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. You can either select a prisoner to use as a preset or select the hooded prisoner to customize your character's uh, appearance from a blank state. Aha, uh -huh. I thought I recognized you. Yes. Okay. All right, chat. Behold. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot age was a thing. Wait, like, is it actually? Oh, God. Okay, it doesn't look like it actually affects appearance, so whatever. <laughs> Absolute unit, yep. I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. What do you mean, pawn? Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Oh, I see. Why'd you roll the tongue when you said that, though? Why'd you go, embrace? Come along, you feckless dullards. Better than being a dickless fullard. One or more add-ons added. You will gain access to them as you progress through the game. Uh, okay. So like I already I already have a lantern. That's convenient. Wait. Learn your place, pawn. Wow. Pray. Do as he says and get in line. Tis for your own good I say this. You do not want to invoke the overseer's wrath. I've troubles enough of my own. Oh, I can't complain. Have a heart, cuz. Got any tales to liven up my day? I could beat you. Have a heart, cuz. Help me out here. Oh, I thought I thought I was like legitimately locked in for a second there. Don't look at me that way. What you need of me? You think I care to hear your troubles? Leave off. Okay, is there like a run button? No.
I've troubles enough of my own. Dude, it's like so weirdly lit that I can't tell if there's like something in these or not. Run unlocks in a bit. Yeah, I mean, I assume it's tutorial, right? All I've got left, my ace and point. There's no way out of it. I can do but wait for what you need of me. We're not allowed to talk during mission, sir. Sir? Well, first of all, I'm a ma'am. And second of all, why are you giving me an honorific? Speak to me another time. Turn your gaze elsewhere. Up here to ask all of me, are you? Okay. What? Well, what is that? What? That looks like a snake. What do you think you're up to, layabout? Get a move on! I can't get a move on. You won't let me. <laughs> Leave me be. Well, fine. I'll leave you be. So, chat, unfortunately, there's no actual just default ponytail. I had to go with, like, the braided ponytail. Because it is literally, like, all this game has. Your injuries pain you. Pray. Do not over... This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let it... Oh... Now I can yog. I love yogging. I ought to be heading. It would be. Speak to me another time. I'm on. Okay, chat. How do we kill this thing before it becomes a boss? Okay, good. I can. Speak to me another time. I can mount it. Pray, sir, have you aught to spare? Do I look like I have aught to spare, m'lady? Time for you to get to work. I want a staff. Get to work, you rotten layabout. If that's not clear enough for you, ask the other vessels what to do. I'm not the top. Who are you? Do I know you? Pray, do not impede me, sir. You are prepared. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Oh, perfect. I like how they're they're training me to be a slave. <laughs> Wait, so I gotta bring the stones here? Wait, LB. Okay. My lantern infinite. Okay, right trigger to grab and release. Okay. I got your rock. The vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leap. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, look at this absolute unit of a woman. Job well done. Now the next step is to. Uh, something tells me what the camera's supposed to be better there. Perhaps we ought to investigate. Chat, did I did I actually call it? Did it become a boss? God damn it! I knew it! This is what happens when you don't break things that look like a snake. Okay? Every time. No, the damn thing's been awoken. 
You must What's tell up, the Chaos, fiend, even at the cost of your lives. Damn, there's some flappy titties. She's definitely a long-lived one. No! She got some sag. Ooh, piece of candy. Observe your clothes carefully and attack the situation to What are you about to do? Oh god, what is that? Shields offer welcome protection from attacks. I mean, I'm just gonna keep slicing you because you seem rather in Holders, barrels, and the like can make effective weapons, but they'll never come back to it. Grab barrels? Can I can I actually grab a barrel? When delivering targets to stops, I would recommend killing to a No, no, I need I need to block. Okay. I thought I did a thing. Are you unharmed? You won't see while you can. Yo, who are you, mystical you magic man? You cannot linger in this place forever. Why do you sound like you have a female voice? Medusa, we need her for good. Listen, our Medusa is a lot hotter, chat. Come, son, it. The accursed creature escaped. Oh, you! Get back here! Or else what? This way, Arisen! Come this way. Let us flee. Oh, look, it's the magic man. Flee for your life. I don't like that they didn't, like, let me fall for a little bit longer there. No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. I can with my flappy bird. Don't just stand there. Shoot it down. That's not going to work out for you, bud. Bro, you can shout, bring it down. It's not going to help the name. Learn all you can of this world you must protect. Flappy Bird, you say? Yeah. Yeah, I realized I realized I should have made Thalra for this instead. Because <laughs> I have a griffin now. I have a big caca.
but a quick quest. No, those don't fly, they just run. Okay, graphics look a little jank there at the distance, but that may be due to like me turning off V-Sync and stuff. The game looks gorgeous, though. gotta admit. And it's definitely a sign that it, like, it's getting time for me to upgrade my graphics card. Because uh, I have a 2080 Super in this, and I think it's like my VRAM in particular is just, uh, it's right on the edge of what games tolerate now. Bro, are you gonna shoot me down? What the fuck? You killed a majestic creature! Was that the Colosseum in the distance that I was at? Pratamonte will be pissed, so will Astolfo. from here known as a rift stone pray seek it out chat someone needs to explain the brain if you truly be arisen then our paths will surely cross again because like it just makes it feel like all water is like non-touchable are you all right what's happened here yo i want your armor He took that very well. I mean, it seems like he's Griffin used to it. one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Okay. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? Uh... No. It is a wonder you survived. <laughs> Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Uh, you'll, you'll treat my wounds and hear my story after you shot down the griffin that I was riding on. Like, this is 100% your fault. A single bolt from a ballista. And well aimed at that. Must be one of Sir Limits from out of Melv. Okay, maybe they're not associated so with them. Right the rest to clean up. Who knew there'd be a cavern around here? Oh, so there's a cavern if we can clear the, uh, the caca. <laughs> Still, I can hardly believe it. A griffin of all things here. Add to that the recent dragon sight. What chest? A salubrious drought. Oh, I love droughts. Wait, I saw B there. Can I like salvage this? I can. There's gathering? I actually didn't really realize there was gathering. Beast skin and withered branches. Winner, exactly winner, griffin dinner. Yeah. I've never heard of such a certainly not like that here in Vermont. Hold on, chat. Is, is it like, does it seem like it's low volume to you guys? Because it seems like it kind of to me. Right, everything's maxed. Kinda, yeah. Okay. Um, Give me one second here. 
And let me open up my sound settings. No, not like that. Uh, let me open up the volume mixer. And I should be able to bump this up a notch. Go with like 75. Did sound good. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, no. Batal. That's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Fie! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Oh, God. Oh, what the shit? If you find your strength back, buy the curative or have a bit of green one. When one of the fiends comes, best guard or dodge, else you'll be sore on the morrow. Okay. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of teeth or dry your weapon with left trigger. Okay. Um chat, how, how do I heal? I don't I can't. Oh, that looks like fishing. Debilitations are negative statuses with effects that range from inflicting damage at steady intervals to making the, vulner the target vulnerable to a specific type of attack. They're now exclusive to the Arisen and their pawns, but can be inflicted upon their enemies as well, granting a fierce edge in battle if applied wisely. Consult each debilitation's entry for more information about its effects. Ah, oh, fantastic. I'm debilitated for some... I'm drenched. How am I drenched? I literally just had my feet in the water. Like, what? <laughs> Does prevent you from becoming tarred and reduces the damage taken from fire attacks. It also means that lightning attacks leave you benumbed. I, yeah, I don't know that that's the right term for it. I believe you mean fried. And ice attacks will make you ice bow. You're a sponge? I apparently. Where do you think Green you're going? You can't just run off now. Okay. Oh, shit. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. No! I wanted to, like, block, and I keep hitting the right trigger instead of the right bumper. Oh, please, dear God. Do not make this go all the way back. I hope it, like, auto-saved. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters okay, and their ilk. Good. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, then. That's so dumb. I basically can't loot that without getting drenched. 100 gold. Never mind, this was worth. <laughs> oh, I totally missed this last time. And that looks like eggs. Oh, 
Where do you think? So, what items do I have? Consume it to recover a bit of health. I don't know if there's like cooking or anything in the game. Getting that block is, is the hardest thing for me. It just doesn't feel like it's bound to the right key. Bro, what the hell was that? That was like a flying shoulder. It was like the people's elbow. Okay, I leveled up. Don't lose to the goblins, Cad. What could happen? Listen, you know. Where are you going? I'll not it's gonna take some getting used to how this game's mechanisms like work, because it's like playing Dark Souls without auto target, which I do all the time. But I have to learn the peculiarities of like character movement, and unlike Dark Souls, my character does not turn as fast. Or, or anything. So it's like, I've got to get used to the, like, weightiness of the character. And then I'll be able to, like, be good with it. But until I do, <laughs> yeah, you, you guys are going to watch me, like, take some stupid hits. Because I basically have to, like, test it out and see what I can get away with. Where do you think you're going? You can't just run off now. Uh, you're absolutely wrong, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I can. Ooh, he's candy. Later, view the tutorial logbook. So there's got to be a way as well to like uh, deal with the shield dude. I guess I could have picked him up and thrown him. But uh, other than that, I'm not sure. Is this a survival game? Uh, no, it's an action RPG. It does have, like, crafting, but I think it's, like, crafting, like, potions and stuff. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. I'm not satisfied with my character's face. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Yeah, I only wonder how they, like, immediately know that I'm the Arisen. Like, I get the whole, like, lore is supposed to Before be that, like, pawns serve the Arisen. But I'm not, like, super in-depth with the lore beyond that. It is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Yeah. Pray. Summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom he would have serve you. Yup. Yup. Yup.
<laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> we pawns are travelers of not only this world, but myriad others with which we can connect. Yeah? As your loyal pawn, my duty is to accompany you and use what I learn in these other realms to aid you on your journey. Uh-huh. I got an itchy shoulder, apparently. I shall be with you every step of the way. And I hope to put my knowledge and experiences to good use on your behalf. Uh-huh. Well, I'll be. Got hit a by pawn the summoning right? before my <laughs> very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. Oh, what is happening with my Please arm? Please do as you like before then. Oh, God. Is that like a heat effect? Or is that like my arm be spasming out? What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. I see. The Northern Watch Encampment. What are we watching for? Gubberines? By touching a wrist stone, the Arisen can travel to the bridge atwixt worlds, which a great many pawns traverse as they journey beyond the rift. This allows the Arisen to summon pawns who meet their specified preferences. These pawns will not level up while they are accompanying you. However, so you may find that you need to hire new support pawns at regular intervals. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. Hello, Luxac. I shall answer, if it is within my power to do so. Okay. Tell me of pawns. Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the rift stones that we might aid you, Arisen. Okay. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. Sounds like you just didn't develop the lore for that. <laughs> Tell me of the rift stones. Rift stones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. Okay. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Okay. Tell me of the Arisen. Tis the name given to fates chosen. Those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. What a bet. <laughs> Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. Ooh. Okay. Pawn inclination. Will determine central, certain aspects of the pawn's behavior, including their manner of speech and actions they tend to take. However, all pawns serve the arisen faithfully, regardless of their inclination. Chat. So there's kind hearted pawns? And, uh,. Calm pawns and simple pawns uh, and straightforward pawns. You want to guess which pawn cat is? Because he's like me. He's simple. <laughs> uh, that's it. <laughs> Main pawn, how dare thee. Oh, look, it's Gareth.
Okay, so it does cost some rune crystals to hire higher level ones. Dude, Brad, how the fuck you already level eight? What the shit? <laughs> Legolas? So is there like a way to... There's a username. So wait, can we like enter usernames? Can we like get a specific person's pawn? Does anyone know? How do we do that? Examine the stone. Uh, search for a pawn. Friend pawns. Alice Reed. I have no idea who this is. Who is that? Who's Alice Reed? And why do they specialize in flagration? <laughs> Mine. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Shazbot. Okay. So I assume can can anyone tell me what my pawn ID is? Because I'd like to at least post that in the discord for people. Ooh, add to favorites. There we go. Summon the pawn. Uh, wait, where did they all go? Oh, okay. Hi, Alice Reed. Oh, you were here all along. Okay. So, like, can I summon more? Official pawns? The names are displayed in a different color. Official pawns of level 10 and below can be hired without expending rift crystals. Okay. The armor worn cannot be changed. Official pawns will not appear in monthly or cumulative rankings and may be excluded from other aspects of the game. Official pawns may only be available for hire for a limited time. Check our website for details about the availability of official pawns. Interesting. So I'm wondering if it's just going to be like certain set characters. Bobo! <laughs> Sakura. Um, I... Prophet, is like AP or anyone else got in the game? Or is it like just you and me at the current moment and everybody's waiting to see? Because I can summon like, like two more or something, right? Just us? Wow. AP bitched out. <laughs> I can summon one more. I thought I could summon two more. Or am I like still limited this early in the game? Leave the rift. No. Where are you all running to? Fine. Hold up. I'll get the game. <laughs> it's fine. You don't have to like get the game just because of me, right? <laughs> uh, search for a pawn. Um, advanced pawn search. Budget 68. No, I, I, I don't want a budget vocation let's look for uh any of the things that i don't have i don't really want warrior because i already have two fighters in the party rain abbey ruby bartholomew Kyla Rikoff. Kyla's kind of hot. Uh, Star. Juan. Maron. Vex. Eivor. Oh, okay. Somebody played Valhalla. Um, I'm not picking that one just because of its name. Uh, <laughs> Salva. Or Silva. Yeah, we'll just go with like rain for right now. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Cool. Works for me. Get It'll be an here. honor to serve by your side. Whoever made rain, good job. Oh, wait, hold on. So, pawn quests are tasks given to your main pawn that must be completed beyond the rift. Or to be completed beyond the rift. Um, 
You set the task and must stipulate a reward for the Arisen who hires your main pawn to receive upon task completion. Pawn quests provide valuable opportunities for you to obtain items and acquire pawn badges, so you should endeavor to get endeavor to get your pawns hired as often as possible. When setting a reward for the Arisen who hires your main pawn to receive, you can select either specific items or nominate a sum of gold. Items will be removed from your inventory. Gold will be subtracted from your funds. What the fuck? I have to pay for someone else to use my pawn? I thought they were hiring my pawn. This seems bass backwards. <laughs> Setting up a retrieval of items you desire as the pawn quest objective. I don't think Rain set a, a quest. I hope. I don't even know that I have like the, the wake shard or whatever the fuck, so. Download is tanking my net. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Okay, so at least I have those. Oh, right, because I have my own pawn. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Wait, wait, what happened to... What happened to Alice? I'm confused. There's a way to make certain pawns show up? Yeah. Oh, look, Freyron. Restoration and reinforcement are the purview of a mage. If ever you've need of an ear to listen. Okay, so maybe I didn't like hire her was the problem. Yeah, now she's there. Okay. I was going to say, I was like, hold on. <laughs> Something wrong here. Yo, let's go. Healing. Ah. So it looks like my health like caps out. Like I've taken like permanent damage. I assume until I rest or something. That is interesting. Wait, you're one of your own pawns, Cad? Well, yeah, because I'm playing Aurelia. So I myself am my own pawn. Chat, look how gloriously tall my character is. Okay? Like, it's it's a thing. Can't work as late as I used to when in Got to work on these worthy work, training recruits. Or I can do for you. Aye? What is it? I haven't got time to natter, I'm afraid. Okay, so I guess I can't, like, actually talk with anyone. What happens if I dive off and You know what? I'm not testing that. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. Autosave data cannot be relied on. Save your progress in this world is recommended you rest at ends at regular intervals if you wish to ensure the reliability of your saved data. That's terrifying. Boy, you seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Okay. Aye. Being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. Fully restores your party's health and stamina. It also recovers the loss gauge. Represents a reduction in your health and accumulates when taking damage. When resting at an inn, you choose whether to rise in the morning or at night. Useful if you need to set out at a particular time. Foresighted adventurers will stay at inns regularly to avoid risks when traveling far afield. 
Yeah, I think my only issue stress. with this is that, like... Though the sun is still up. Oh, okay. My, my only issue with this is that, like... Basically, uh, it's going to keep costing gold. So I hope it doesn't cost a ton. No more add-ons acquired. Access that an in by speaking A moment long end. awaited. I knew it was only a matter of time before your skills reached a new height. They do say good things come to those who wait. Uh, I thought I already leveled up to level two. I've pledged to spare if you're looking for lodgings. And if you'd like to change your vocation. Oh my god, a thousand gold? What the shit? Okay. Um. Oh, uh, okay. So I got the superior trusty sword. Uh. Chat, can I equip my, like, the pawns that I summoned? Oh, Cad got to level two. That's, that's, yeah, okay, sorry. Like, brain rot there. Better save or there'll be consequences, yes. Combine. Two materials to create an item. So it looks like apples and the green plants. Prioritize the inventory you want materials to be taken from first, the arisen or their pawns. Made a salubrious drought. Always a pleasure. Okay. If tis discipline your company lacks, I can provide. I where the fuck did you come from? <laughs> I hello. Arisen details Capcom. So this is just like a set pawn that just approached me and is like, bro, you need me. Hire me. Fuck off. <laughs> Uh, okay, equipment. So that is immediately better. Just straight up. Now I have gold. That is immediately better. Okay, we definitely need some stuff. I did not get the deluxe edition at all, chat. Wait, I thought I could equip my pawn. Can, can I not equip my pawn yet? Is that like under pawns or something? Why is the map like shaky? Oh, it's gotta be like the, the flame effects from the candle. Um I hope the day ahead shall be a joyous one. Yeah. Where to next arisen? Oh, Okay. Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Wait, where? Where, where was there a treasure chest? <laughs> Your pawn is equipped? Well, I get that he's equipped. I'm asking how do I change his equipment? Oh, okay, here we go. I didn't see to use the uh, the triggers. Okay, so there's nothing else I can put. Uh, that's kind of interesting because it does look like I could potentially equip somebody else. It also looks like uh, I can't equip the trusty sword to anyone else. Because only Aurelia has it in her inventory. I guess it's the same as what he has equipped though. I've wedged to spare if you're looking for lodgings. And if. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the stuff that I already have in there.
making arrows. So like, I don't want to like leave stuff in my inventory when possible. You'd like to because change apparently your inventory weight Come is a thing. It's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Okay, so my character saw a chest. Somewhere. This ladder can take us to new heights. We ought to put it to good use. Oh my god, you can quickly climb ladders, yes. If your plane had arisen in search of preferable treatment, you'll be sorry. Your head... Okay. Oh god. Oh. Thought I was jumping off the edge there. I find goods for sale. Okay. What do you got? So basically all the starter stuff anyways. Um, looks like she at least has like normal gear. Which I, I think the only thing that's concerning for me is like how gettable will any of this be? And like, holy shit, why is that not loading? <laughs> Like, I, I, I don't know if you guys can see that behind me. I assume you can, but it's, like, super pixelated. It's like it's trying to load the piece, but it can't quite. So the chainmail is at least nice, and I think that's what my pawn has equipped. We can try to save for that. <laughs> I also Always see that's why I'm like taking so much of a beating when I take no a hit. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just you seem well. Okay. Whatever you need, I'll have. Okay. What is this? I choose to sit. Oh my god, dude! Like graphically, this is beginning to look like really bad. I think it's the flame effects. Like, I'm beginning to think I need to turn the flame effects, like, off. Or Kadroth, the simple pawn. Yes. I have a pressing duty to which I must attend. Hey, oh. You a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece, if not. We've had to start sending out new... Is that so? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all... Aye. I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Ocado. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The hype can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fie! I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. Anacardos as well, I'm sure. Doing a priority quest. Okay, yeah, the pawns can guide you to the location if they know about it. Okay. Perhaps we ought to hurry, lest we arrive too late to be evade. So I assume that's like the thing I need to go to? Is right there? This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Okay. Is 
try resummoning my phone when you get the chance. Okay. I mean, it'll probably be after this quest. Oh God, harpies. My kryptonite. There are four pawn commands that Arisen can use to direct their pawn companions, and their effects vary according to circumstances in which they are used, such as when in or out of combat. The best way to get a feel for each command is to observe your pawn's response and course of action in various situations. Go instructs pawns to act, act independently of the Arisen. During combat, it directs pawns to spread out across the battlefield. It can also be used to request assistance with carrying out an action. To request guidance to a location or instruct a pawn to resume guidance that has been interrupted. Okay, so it's basically like the do it button. To me, instructs pawns to come back to you during combat. Uh, wait instructs pawns to remain where they are until they are given a different command during combat. It directs pawns to cease attacking and focus on aiding the Arisen indirectly. Help instructs pawns to prioritize support, healing, and recovery. I Okay. Yo, I did a thing. Dare I say it? We trounced our. Okay. Is that all of them? Yeah. You have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I don't know. You seemed like you were stabbing I've a bunch only just of them. enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I, I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder, till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. Chad, I made a friend. Our results are awaited. What say we make our report? I made a friend. As a matter of fact, curious thing, one of my former masters chose to hire only women. I wonder why. <laughs> You've given me much to think about. I I see. Only women, huh? Wonder why. Okay, we got apples. A syrup wart leaf? Yo, you can get syrup? Hey, what is this? This is like bark? Cinnamon bark? Yo! Can chat see why Cad loves cinnamon toast crunch? Must you run so fast? I can hardly keep you in my sights, a reason. Medicine that went hard, be sure to avoid open vein. Okay. Oh no! Wrong button. A smashing success. Smashing! Once more! Man, I love me already. I'm such a good pawn, chat. You have no idea. <laughs> to the okay. chest. I shall take a look inside. A, a chest I shall take a look inside? Wait, which, which chest? Where'd you find a chest? You find a chest woman. Oh, there was a chest here. <laughs> so pawns can find things that even I can't. Interesting. 
Wait, that's like a rock. So could I like... Okay. So like you could actually like throw a rock down at someone. The ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Blueberry? So if I like unsummon a pawn, do I need to like clear out their inventory and stuff first? Or is like anything they had like come back to me? Cause like I think the thing I'm especially thinking of is like what about gear, right? Tis no more or less than what one might have expected. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. Auto goes to you. Okay. So I don't have to like micro that. That's good. I'd hasten home were this oh, not my dream. Hail, friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. Twas a relief to see him return, and none the worse for wear. Uh huh. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. Uh huh. It was a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling They're just regimes. jealous that he got to look at harpies. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. We have succeeded in defending our charge. A sign of good things to come, mayhap? Yo, I'm already level four. My Let's heart go. is light as a feather after that exchange. Okay, now I'm now I'm confused. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings, and if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me any. Okay. Copper ore. Assume that's an enhancement material. Yep. <laughs> Da, 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 da. You know, okay, so it looks like it's 10 out of 10,000. So it looks like inventory at least appears to be decent for now. Um, I haven't, like, Do picked up again. any gear. So now, I don't know, like, how heavy prize. the gear will be in that regard. Only twerned so far away. Only it twerned so far away. We're running low on everything. From, we've had a hard time procuring goods. What, I sent Marcus to gather what we need, but I've just... What say you? Could I trouble you to run an errand for? Glad to hear it. Here, you ought to be somewhere no and in the know, and he'll take care of the rest. No. <laughs> so, chat, can I, like, save my game, or do I literally have to, like... Okay, so you can manually save. Like, cause that was, that was what I was worried about is like, do I have to go to an inn in order to save? Well met. Well met. Perfect. Eh. Eh. There we go. All right, now, can I sell my old shitty miner shirt? Sweat and grime, yes. Much obliged. I do so Bad enjoy stuff. is not reliable here. I quite understand the desire to buy items purely for the pleasure of owning them. Right you are. Okay. I still keep trying to press like right trigger to do things. No I'm not quite sure why. If you are in <laughs> if your plane at arisen in search of preferable treatment, you'll be Okay. Do, do you not like have a quest? If your for me? plane at arisen is Pray, call upon me again another time. Uh Y yeah, Rain. You just took half. No easy thing. 
I swear, man. Okay. Like, how do I unsummon? I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle. Select the item I wish to summon as a gift? I feel like you've done this on purpose so that you can steal my materials. You can have a singular harsh bud. Use a rating. Thumbs up or heart? I'll use this chance to commit myself fully to the study of the arch. Okay. Uh, it seems like it's level five, but I can't summon it now. So. There's that. <laughs> okay, now I can. So it looks like it just needed time. We meet again, Arisen. Okay. I'm well glad to be traveling by your side again. Okay. Leaving it in and we'll update your phone. Yeah. What -a -da 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 -da. So I'm only confused in the fact that there appears to be a quest. You can literally see the exclamation point. And it's at the dude in the tower is what it appears to be to me. Uh, but he does not seem to want to give me a quest. So I'm not sure if it's like he has a quest, but I don't know him enough or like something else. I don't want the, the world map. Oh, okay. I just, I just wanted to like make that the main quest. Um. Contains a list of additional provisions he requires. So I guess I just gotta go take this to someone. I thought he was gonna make me get it, but I guess he literally just wants that one dude to get him the provisions. Look, master, a chest. We must find a way to open it. It is a vexing thing to see it so plainly and yet be unable to open it. Wait, what chest are they freaking talking about? Like, look, master, a chest. I'm like, yeah, I don't see no chest. We've got goblins. Yeah. Shame I've never gone to fix this phone. Are we all in the same boat? <laughs> Elemental weakness and resistance? Okay, so it looks like you enhanced me. Um, deal damage to your foes, exploiting elemental weaknesses, and reduce the amount of damage taken from your elemental attacks by donning equipment that increases your elemental resistance. Inform you of your foes' resistances and weaknesses when you face them in the field of battle. Making use of skills and equipment can enhance and enable you to inflict damage and grant you significant advantage over your foes. For instance, combining attacks that inflict debilitations with attacks that deal elemental damage will allow you to plague your enemies with some truly devastating debilitations. That was a run-on sentence if I've ever seen one. 
Uh, uh, do friend pawns not cost RC? That I don't know. They don't seem to, but I'm not entirely certain. This is for you, Master. I thought it might come useful. Let my magics grant you an elemental ring. Did they... I've got a good feeling about this one. At least they make it relatively easy to loot, it seems. Well, that was just to mix with their capacity issues when it blew up. Yeah, I mean, like... So, and I've said this before, right? But, like, Steam rating should absolutely reflect the current status of a game. Period. Uh, doesn't mean the game's not good. It just means that the game probably has some issues. Issues that warrant your attention before purchase. That's why I think you should always take a look at what the reviews are before purchasing the game. But do I think the game is bad? No. Oh, not so far, at least. Um, like, I'm, I'm running it fine. Uh, again, I'm going to assume people are trying to either run it with a potato PC or people are uh, maybe encountering well other issues like crashing or something due to like uh, like uh, visual memory overload and stuff like that. Kind of like how you guys saw me go into the settings at first and tweak it. That was me doing my due diligence as opposed to like other people kind of just just running right in and saying, screw it, I don't care. <laughs> Daring arisen. Has aught yonder caught your eye? I got a Jasper for that. Okay, so there's a stick here. There's a stick there. But do the stick lead anywhere? I'll gather these now. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. Okay. That's like a, a boo berry that I got. Oh god, the harpies are back. rank up. Interesting that I didn't have to kill all the harpies. Also, how far does this sucker want me to go? So it looks like it wants me to, like, cross the bridge. Which actually... Let me double check here. No, it's still got the in Dragon's Weight. So set as priority. Okay, so that's... Oh, please don't tell I me I have to go I the opposite to direction. Me. God damn it. That's an in question. Uh, LB2 Road to 7 is announced. When did they announce it for? Like, it's not that surprising. Other than I did say they were probably going to have to do this during the lotto. Which I think is hilarious. March 24th. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, old wager. No harm in picking a few. 
to Sunday night? That's a weird. That's a weird one. I don't think I'll be live for that chat. But again, like the same thing. Uh, At last I, we've arrived. The I assume it's just going to be a recap, we best like the prior one was. Here we forget. I quite agree. I am liking the game so far, though. Like, it's it's combat is a little jank, but I see what they're going for, and I actually really like it. It is not for everyone. That's all I'm going to say. It's like, if you don't like non-lock-on action combat, you're not going to like this are. game. That's everything assembled. A job well done if I do. Oi, did you need something? Okay, so deliver. This is from Sir Jeffrey, is it? Let's have a look then. Yeah, I would like some more choices, especially with regards to like the the character creation and stuff. But I actually really like so far what they Fly. have done with it. He wants these as well, does he? I thought I was finished. Why should I have to do all this on my own? I've got plenty to carry. As and tis. you need me to do it. And make haste. I would depart for the encampment even a moment sooner. Well, go on. Let us commence our search without delay. Where to first? Wait, like, but you didn't tell me what I needed. Procure some harspuds and the items on this list breath. can be crafted by combining certain materials. And I happen to know where they can be found. Bro, I, I hate. Who thinks I know the general destination? Shall I show you the way, Master? Sure. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. So I assume that's because, like, Prophet's already done this quest. She's like, hey, look, I know where to go. Which is nice. I actually really like that. I'm a little bit worried about not being able to hire up easily, though. So that's going to be a problem, I think. Ooh, grapes. Anything down there didn't look like it really. Booberry. It's actually kind of funny that it kind of basically leads you back. But no, I, I, I actually like really like this so far. Um, I mean, and this is just my initial impression. So like, don't get me wrong, this can change. Uh, we'll see how like repetitive menial tasks like this get. I assume the tasks will get more robust though. Like you start out with like, hey, yo bro, get me some herb. Wait, so do I need to go back to him? You piece of shit. Okay. Shall we report our results? What's weird, though, is there weren't, like, any apples there. At least not that I saw. Over here, if you please. Over here, if I please. Where, where are you taking me, Alice? Alice, what are you doing? You're running me into a wall. Prophet, what's wrong? Why well, does this game remind me of that one South Park episode? Which one? The wild WoW one? We have reached our destination. How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Aye.
Yep. Uh, at least it only took two potions. Really? Thought it was gonna take like oh, all knew five. I could count on you. Here, take this for your trouble. I'll be heading back to the encampment now. It'll be waking power. We'd best report back. Oh, great. Joffrey. Sir Marcus was well pleased, Master. Shall we report our success? We got a microtransactions on the Steam page, though, sheesh. I believe I Wait, can guide you. Wait, are there actually a lot of question. microtransactions on it? Because I only saw the like yours. deluxe edition. Lead on. That was the only one I was aware of. Ah, let me in the gate. Okay, I Oi, got your spuds. As I hear it, you even assisted him in gathering a supply. Anyway, you've been a great help. I. Our okay. efforts have seen the encampment. Oh, thanks. Nine hundred gold and, and some dry fruit. Less care. A good deed all round. <laughs> Sweet, thanks, idea. bro. <laughs> they have sixteen hundred gold. Um. I think I know it's going to suck because it's not going to update my pawn, but I think I'm just going to save here because like there is no point in wasting a thousand gold to rest when I have like no demerit to my health really at the moment. But we're going to end here for tonight, chat. We'll be playing more of this tomorrow. Um, yeah, because again, like I, I'm basically done with Lotto, so uh, we'll see. I'll probably still do some FGO stuff early tomorrow's stream, but uh, I'll definitely come up with some other things. So let me see who I'll be on. Actually, it's probably easier if I do that with this other computer over here. Oh, yo, I could raid Asma. I don't think I'll do that. Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing anyone much that I know uh, that's playing it. But at least no no one of my size. Uh, but again, yeah, we'll go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow for more. And I hope you guys enjoyed. So have a good evening. Later.